Silver Kami. All right, we're coming in. We're coming in hot. What did he say? What did he say? Hmm? Hmm? I, well, I can't see the chat yet. It's configuring. It's loading. Top of the morning, my fellow peasants. How are you all doing? <laughs> what did he say? I'm triggered. Can we get triggered? Don't tell Pez how much more skills Bree had. I can see you, mate. I see you. <laughs> hey! Look Bruh, at the end of the day, um, fight me. Square go like. At the end of the day, I've had considerations, guys. Top of the morning, everyone. We're going deep into the story abyss today. We absolutely are. Yesterday's stream was absolutely cursed. But I will blame it on me and Bree staying up till like one in the morning the other night before chatting about loads of things. Blame it on sleepiness. I've also got to blame it on Imperial Infantry Blade. I am slowly starting to consider, should I go for the Massamoon? Still no heal, still no accessories. It's just, it's getting to that section of the game where we're getting really late into it and Everything is just so brutal. Everything takes so long. You know, and surviving that long in a fight <laughs> without healing, I feel like I'm at the tipping point where I may have to accept I cannot continue this way. But how are you doing, guys? I hope you're having a good morning. Hello, Kamizanta, all aboard the story train. Two, two. What have you been up to, guys, this morning? Um, I've been in a hole rabbit hole of things. Uh, UFOs, we've got America having a congressional hearing at the end of this month about UFOs, about you know, showing the content that the FBI have been withholding illegally on it. I wonder if that's going to be anything. Juice is going to come from that. I don't think they call them the UFOs though. I think they're calling them UAPs. Unidentified uh, Something phenomena? I don't know what we're calling. But but just the fact that it's like having a meeting in like government bodies. Some people are like it's just a distraction that's going on. It's like distract from other things that are happening, other nefarious nonsense. Do you think that's the case, guys? Do you think it's legit? I was in the It's like it's just crazy, right? That alien talk was something that only circles of like crazy stoned. Yeah, crazy stoners would be talking about, or people slightly on the mental ailment spectrum there. The neurons aren't all firing, but now it's like in serious discussions and circles. It, it would be like, and it adds some credibility, because could you imagine if they're like, yeah, Parliament are getting together to talk about unicorns and leprechauns. <laughs> We're going to have a government meeting and pass a bill about Minotaurs and ghouls. <laughs> so that's spicy. And then uh, no, I went into Final Fantasy news. I don't think I've really seen anything other than obviously Yoshi P. Um, fully seeing the salty wrath of the West and their general indecency. Um, oh, I will try this with you guys. This was a funny thing <laughs> this morning. Everyone type. We'll copy and paste the title that you get. Everyone open a tab and type Florida man and then the month and date of your birthday. So for me, I typed Florida man June the 19th and what came up for me was man pulls gun in Starbucks over argument about cream cheese. <laughs> what was, I think Bree's one was Florida man uses baby son as human shield <laughs> in police brothers. was that your brothers what brother. oh, was yours again everyone quickly type it florida man may 8th what was yours brie some of them are dark oh yeah breeze was florida man blames demons after beating pregnant girlfriend for playing xbox <laughs> what's happening with florida brie saying that America should just send Tetsukun it off and float it out into the ocean. <laughs> it was going around on Twitter, uh, or should I say X? It was circulating around on X. 
Uh, how much was I getting thrown off today? Like, I, I would have my Twitter tabs open, and then I would try to show Brit, and I'd be like, where's my Twitter tabs? Like, they keep disappearing. Why do they keep disappearing? And then I keep seeing, oh, I've got like five tabs of X. I'm like, oh, all right, yeah. And it's just blended in with all my other X tabs. <laughs> Yeah, that was a stupid porn joke. Uh, how long did that take you to get? <laughs> All right, what's for Fenrir? The Florida man tries to trade in vehicle his police stole from same <laughs> dealership. <laughs> Florida man sentenced to 20 years after bringing condoms, pink dress to child sex sting. Florida man caught with his pecker in his hand and a pickle in his... Florida man uses alligator to shotgun a beer while cranking Sky Nerd. Skinnered, what is that? Oh, Leonard Skinnered, all right. <laughs> Sky Nerd. Florida man, drunken Florida man arrested after shoveling spaghetti into his mouth, yelling outside Olive Garden. <laughs> that was pretty tame. I mean, you said that very quickly. It sounds like you've been there. No, have any I've, of you guys I've seen, I've seen have any of you guys ever made like a public I've seen drunk people at all, all spectacle of yourself? What's the biggest spectacle you've ever made in public? I think for me it was probably tripping over and headbutting a lamppost and passing out for about ten seconds. I woke up and I was surrounded by lots of strangers. Chasing my brother down the street. Chasing your brother down the street. He stole my phone. Oh, he stole your phone. You chase him with the vacuum. Down the street. Why the vacuum cleaner? Why was that your weapon of choice? Because I wanted to hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shall we get on and slurp up some story? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yell out to the Patreon Pezzies. If a sheep at Titan and Phoenix Pezos. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, unending support as well as all of these succulent Patreon members. Oh, I just uh, closed it. Okay, well, you guys as well. You guys as well. MVPs. MVPs, as well as everyone who hit the like button before I even did anything skillful or juicy. Today is not going to be like yesterday. Today is going to be a, a good day. A day of honor and achievement, victory. I am well rested. I'm feeling great this morning. Um, I should probably have gone and healed, but do you think do you think it's fair, guys, to to run the Massa Moon now? Extra two hundred, still no heals, still no items. That's that's fair fair game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll do that because I think it's fitting for. The, the general difficulty spike that's yeah. happening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, question is, do I want to run a boss build right now or still a mob killer build? So where are we, where are we headed? We're headed. All in all, I've quite liked this region. Obviously, it's very dark and dreary. Uh, had a good time here. Why is it <laughs> the frame rate is already dipping so hard? Is it is it on the stream? Or is it just mine? Ah, uh, use my limit break as the hills go in. Wow, on the TV it is very just frame rate. That's just from the hardware. That's not. That's not an internet thing, that is... The PlayStation 5 needs to warm up its cockpits. Jesus. But let's remember, this, this game isn't techno technologically more advanced than 15. Let's just, let's just remember that. <laughs> According to most people. Nah, not most. Actually, a very small minority of idiots. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look what awaits us. 
on the other side. Mexico. Mexico is on the other side. I genuinely think that this is actually how Trump imagined his wall would be. <laughs> We're going to Mexico! Woo! Technically, we are on the other side of the wall right now. Yeah. <clears throat> Who's in the house? Have you all hit the like button? Hello, Novus. Good morning, bro. Great react. Wallow did my experience dip the frame rate. Really? What? Just Wallow more than other areas? Interesting. Why, why do you think that is? Do you think it's just something to do with the optimization as it was coming into the, the latter sections of finishing the game up? Well, maybe. I'm always in this perpetual situation of wanting to switch up to a, a mobby build. I feel like a boss is going to come at you soon. This is why having loadouts is easy to switch loadouts. Gotta say, Chronoliths, uh, Joshua, are you serious, bro? Get out of my way. Chronoliths really do train you nicely on uh, all the different icon stances. Uh, can't wait to do the other ones, they're so fun. Anyone who missed last stream, uh, I wiped so many times on the Phoenix one. Uh, wait, have I gone back? Three, I've gone. <laughs> I've gone backwards. We're not even. No, we are just past about 10 minutes in the stream. <laughs> Already had a navigation fail. Peasant, which Alan uh, Watts book uh, should I start with? So, Alan Watts, I've, I've not actually owned any of his books. I've, I've seen books with him in, like him and Eckhart Tolle, uh, Ramdas, uh, Mixes, Trump and Rinpoche, but not, not actually an Alan Watts specific. I typically have consumed Alan in video format. I've even consumed Alan Watts in lo-fi. Lo-fi hip-hop format. <laughs> it's like morning lo-fi tunes with Alan Watts dropping some, some wisdom. It's always a fun time. <clears throat> Off to a good start, Lar. That will be the only derp of the whole stream, my friend. I wonder what story succulence we have ahead of us. Quiet. 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 Joshua? Hey? Kashik Minor. This is a. No need to ride from here. It's not a hunt in here, it's just a, probably be a quest or a hunt here later. Oh, damage is so much nicer right now. To me, Blake! Behind me, I don't know why I'm coming into this village. <laughs> really, bro. Man, well, load is the, the most I've had mobs disengaging from battle. <laughs> it happens so much in this area. Fuck. It was driving me nuts in the stream yesterday. <clears throat> oh, I do hope I get to see the ending of 16. Probably. Human sound. Maybe Everything in this weekend. This place bothers me. I think I can, I can get there for this weekend, guys. That would be kind of juicy because that would give me two weeks to run MG+. What if I keep detouring to fight pointless mobs? Let's make a direct line. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay. 
Is that, is that another corner there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Vidog. Vidog Rays. I wonder what. Don't even think to look up the uh, region names here. Vidog Rays. Is that potentially a Norse, Norse name? Vidagrius. Vidagrius? This is very similar to uh, Vida, which is the Azer associated with vengeance, which I mean, kind of would make sense as we a Clive's mind heading to uh, take on Ultima, right? Oh, Vida Grace, Vida, vengeance with something else added to it. Maybe. <clears throat> also, the wide ruling one. So maybe a blend between wide ruling one and vengeance. That all kind of fits. Should marathon till the end. What, starting from now? <laughs> you dancing? The calm before the storm. <laughs> the calm before the storm, right? Here we go. Let me just, let me just sit it a smidge. There's only one way into that city. Across the bridge. Through the main gate. Go on, Gilgamesh, show up, please. Fight me on this bridge. Right into the midst of whatever is left of the Lake King's army. Are you ready for this? Steer yourself, lads. As ready as I'll ever be. Oh, look at these boys. Taking it on. Bros on the road. Hoorah. Never did I think Joshua and Clive would be playing a side by side prominent role. Really thought it was going to be. My, my honest thing was like, little Joshua was going to be stuck in a metaphysical state. It'd only be towards the end. You know, after fighting the big bad baddie that Joshua would release still in kid format and he would either use the power of Phoenix or Clive would use it to raise his brother or his brother would raise Clive. So many, so many of my expectations. Done totally different routes. And I like this one. Here we go. Very soulsy feel, bit bit bloodborne-ish. The stone here. Man, this whole nation has just been <laughs> scranked. You know what this the word? Happened here. Scranked. I dare not think. A stroke of good fortune, perhaps. That's, that's cool right there out in the ocean. Right. So do I. There's something watching us. Something gonna jump us. Streets of Madness. Ooh! <laughs> that's a charge title. Yo, yo, yo. This is dope. Look at that. The really choppy. Oh, that ocean looks so good right now. I really, so some of you guys expressed that the load uh, the section that didn't titillate you so much. I get big vibes, big big vibes. Wow. Oh, that bolt of thunder. Really, really freaking cool. Ooh, uh, the spire. Back to Viking music. Uh, am I in combat? See, uh, for some reason I thought <laughs> I would have some mobs sent to me. I, I really want a mob clearing build. Ah, uh, in combat. Can I, can I disengage? Let's see the way. How far do these travel? Oh. It's all perfectly lined up for a Geiger flow, that's for sure. Guy, Geiger! Guy, Geiger! Ah. Ah. 
Not yeah, I'm gonna get some saucy air juggling going again. Fat overkill. You felt me so hard now with this mess in you, me. See, see, right now, I, they're gonna send a box. They're gonna send a box. <laughs> Even if they do, I've got, I've got this on. I feel like I can go for a bit more of a. A saucy build. I don't necessarily need my hardcore murder build on. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go juggle build actually. It's really fun. Uh, how do I build this? Garuda. Uh, I keep <laughs> Rook's Gambit. I've actually broken Rook's Gambit down for points. Gouge, let's go. Shiva, Triangle Mesmerize. Uh, Rhyme you can do up in the air as well, but seldom see the point. Maybe if it's against Flappers. Womp, 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 ultimate gamer. Hello, mate. I see. Here we go. I do like it when I see a, a here we go in the chat. <laughs> is it a, is that a confirmed here we go, Bree? Can you confirm? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And let's see if I can get some saucy upheavals. Let's go for this. I swear, if they send a boss now after I've just put my air juggling build on. Um, yeah, I, I, it is. It's definitely got to be a boss in here. I should say. I should say. It would be very cool if something crawls out of the sea onto the bridge and just... Rah. How can anyone sit there and say Sokun hasn't perfectly captured the mood of all of these themes? That is all like, yes. That's a bossy platform. That's a bossy plinth. What is it going to be? Is it going to be nice jumping off the tower? Let's go. Oh, a behemoth. Oh, boy. Oh, I've not got the build on. Oh, oh. So I saved. I did save, but this is. Uh, Yo. But he was time. And with the minions. Oh, oh boishty, boishty. Yeah. Gosh, oh, wow, that is over the top. Get up. What the hell? Here it comes. Yo, that behind behemoth is so cool. They've added so many extra oh, horns. Alright, first go, one. First go to Nice try. Alright, let's start. Cut comet, okay. So stay up in the air. Oh, some of these are from the behind of the Woo! What is that shoulder bunch? That's cool. What is he doing? A little pounce Oh, upheaval straight into a punch. Mm. 
Wow! Wow! We what? <laughs> Okay, well, at least I can build build into my boss. A boss slaying takedown. I know, still Gar Garuda may not be that. Ah. I don't want to really keep fighting with this slowed out. I know, maybe one more time. Maybe one more time. It's not that effective, but it might be fun. <laughs> Don't move out of the way, thank you sir. Fuck you sir. This is gonna be a tough fight. Isn't it? Charge my RP group. Uh, my surgeon. Wow, he's got such wide swings. I need to go towards the poor. The freezes are gonna be huge. So, of course, got Titan uh, Blast. That's it. Done with you, you nasty creature. You hench, hench beast. Get that muscle, man. Ow. I'm gonna try to pull this back, but uh, it looks unlikely. I didn't jump up in time. Oh. I say, we got that bar. The worst of people ever. <laughs> yeah, we can do this. Probably not. Why can't I see my stances? Clive, you boys throw crossbow to Orgolai. Desperate times. Clive, no! Desperate Press measures. Me. And will she not remember? Oh, what the hell? Whoa! Holy nip nips, Clive. All his armies. Because you're dying, Joshua. This looks so visually. What a spectacle. What a spectacle. Let's go, bros. When we fight, oh. we fight together. Ooh, that's a poster shot right there. Mwah. Cinematic clash indeed. Ooh. Very cool. I can't wipe now after that. That would. Oh. Well, drop that dope momentum. That wasn't too bad. That was just the beginning. <sighs> These boys. Ah! Maelstrom. So let's stay in our dashies. Pretty good. 
Pick up. Oh no, round three, round three. Oh, pull the beastie. I might have to limit break soon, so I'm hanging. No life. Nope, there's a swipe of death. I, boy, could I say it in time? <laughs> That's not actually that difficult. It, it's a way less powerful build I've got right now. I'm not using any of the big spells, but that is fun. And if it's actually, I will change up a few things. Is it going to checkpoint reset me? Yeah, I don't. I'm not having checkpoint reset, so I'm going to fight this cool. No, 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 no. I. This is dope, man. I don't know, before this, what was the dopest behemoth ever? I mean, 15... 15 is pretty cool, it's pretty significant, right? Remember the drop on that? Yeah, they, they made a, a behemoth fight in Monster Hunter. Uh, well, like crazy. Whoa. What were some other really dope beam at moments? It's always that last, I'm assuming this guy's gonna have it. Beamons usually put that last kill shot. All right, <laughs> fucking meet you down. <laughs> They're arseholes. They're just like, if I'm going, you're going down with me, mate. All right. How to build, how to build. I've got 1487. What do you guys think? What do you think maybe I should take this fight on with because obviously I could do my judgment bolt my wikes all of that stuff but is that going a bit too easy mode maybe I, I mean Garuda Garuda with you know the pulls and the gouge and the wicked wheel a good stagger it's not it's not half bad I mean Shiva still with the freeze it's, it's dank the mesmerize sucks Mesmerize definitely sucks, and he moves around maybe not too much for Ryan. Maybe not. Maybe mm, Raging Fist. Get the Raging Fist counter. And Diamond Dust will be dank here. Let's move maybe I'll throw myself a little Diamond Dust in. Not too many of the big hitters. And then maybe if I yeah, wind up, ain't gonna be the one for me. I should, should put Raging Fist. I'll keep the same layout. I just won't try upheavals because they're gonna be dodgy. Maybe this. Still a bit of a challenge, challenge build. I will be a bit more useful. Ever 13's uh, Behemoth running around Pulse is terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're kind of loping towards you. All right, let's skip the cutscene. Very cool. Okay, let's go lightning rod here. There we go, perfect. That's what we like to see. Straight into the pool. Look at that, absolutely mash. Yeah! Yeehaw! That's a little bit too over eager to dodge there. Oh no, that was a miss. That was a wiffy woo. Oh no, I thought I was in uh, Titan. I thought I was in Titan. 
fuck? Nah, I gotta get some heals. Quick this day. Oh, that didn't go over. But well, we'll have to take that. We'll have to take that. Right, I say it's to freeze the crab bar and I don't fully charge it. My cheeks. Should have had lightning rod on the of that. Eek! Not the best. A lot of errors were made! <sighs> Clipping me or taking myself to 50% from that first phase is. Get cheap. Well, that's a bit bun cheeks. I thought I'd charge my microphone. Hopefully, I don't even think this one's on full charge now. We could end up microphone juggling. Oh, no, no, this one is... I got the non-charged one mixed up. <laughs> I was just saying before I got muted, um, Joshua would be like, no, Clive, no, don't use your abilities. And it's like, Clive has no repercussions for using the iconic abilities. He's not dying. He's immune to it. You're the one dying, Joshua. You know. It feels like between these bros, they definitely have each other's interests more at heart than their own. <laughs> In these moments, like, I'll be the one to sacrifice myself behind me. No, I'll be the one to fuck myself up. <laughs> bros. But now we're going to do it together. Yeah. I mean, we say there's no implication for Clive using these powers. I don't know if... It's taken a mental toll. Like I, I really thought as Clive was gonna become more like if e more filled with these iconic abilities. You know, like in the early days we saw that the, the savage screaming, the demonic screaming. Like if Clive's the quality of his consciousness would start degrading. I don't think we're really seeing that. Do you get that sense? It seems actually the opposite. His conviction and he's his strong. he's getting stronger for it, but because Ultima keeps like implying like he's more or less like a monster that's just feeding on on stuff. But maybe that's yet to be a job for everything! That looks so dope. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you turn to him, brother? You're looking like you're emerging the powers again. It's very pro prophecy, boys. The Rossfield Wabbies. Very anime moment. <laughs> Got to play tight this round. Just the beginning. I'm not that lifey. And I still refuse to heal. What have we got? So we've got Maelstrom. When's that gonna kick in? Dash through. Move right behind him. I say. Nice. Pull him down. 
Okay, so let's see if I can do a double double jump into the gouge. Three gouge. Now dash up, right, dash up, dash up. See, I, I was pressing wicked wheel to cancel it, and it, it didn't cancel. Ah, oh, ah, oh, very peculiar. I, I'm like, I'm gouging, and and I, can you not just press another ability to cancel? Is that all thing? No, because he should he shouldn't have kept gouging because you only keep gouging when you're pressing square, right? So there I'm, I'm gouging, I'm gouging. I know the attack's going to come, and then I come off of it really early, and I'm I'm hitting triangle because I want to gouge, lift up, but he keeps gouging. It, it, it's confusing to me. <laughs> it's very confusing. All right. Um, I mean, I could change it. I, I still want to phase reset. I'm, I'm going to bring in... Mm, I mean, Wikes will help me get this done. Mm. Let me take this fight a bit further. That phase reset. I don't want to hold the string too much up. Wow, we, wow, we, mamma mia. Jesus, and on the back here. Wow, every hit. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Come on, beast. Right, I'm going to get up in time. Oh, I am. Whoa, whip up. Absolutely. Ow! Ow, you are This fight is ridiculous. That's it, come on, hit me. No! <laughs> you did another shoulder bar on the floor. No! <laughs> Trying to do it stylish, and it's. This is a rough little fight. <laughs> very, very cold. There we go. Come on, let's get this going. Alright, try to get back round. Yeah, reposition the rod. Rod, face gouge. Pull sex, pull sex. Healing. Oh, that's 
Very nicely handled. Alright. Getting into it. Dash the wrong way. And again! Now, then we're going to have to go. Let's got to close the gap. Again. This may be one of my favorite fights in the game so far. Woo! Have we got enough light buttons? Was that one wipe and three? Ah, needs your... Yeah, see, I really don't I really like this fight's checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> One of those dope ass fights. Right. Wanna take all the way to the harsh line. Got me. <gasps> Yo, two HP. Two HP. What are you gonna do? There we go. Big friends. No. His tail. Oh. <sighs> Final Fantasy Fest, I'm excited for Final Fantasy Fourteen Fan Fest. In all honesty, ha how can I be excited? I can't watch them. I can't watch fan fests. I won't be able to watch the new trailers. Um, because I'm not, I'm not caught up. So most of these things I have to dip from. I, I, I want to reload. I think I could take this fight from the top. I might, I might build on something that I know. And guarantee me the win. I don't know, because I don't really, in all honesty, if I, I know if I take my meta build, this will go down much more swimmingly. But this build is like very, Fluid, very reactionary, it's, it's very pacey, the, the being able to dash up. It just, it feels funner. And I want, I want to have fun with, with this demo. Forgive me guys for the delay. And this was... I know some of you hate it when I get caught up on wipages, but... I really love it. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna make this the perfect round. 
That's good. good. Easy open. This afternoon. I definitely dashed, I definitely dashed! Those comments, bros. Yeah. What do I want here? What do I want here? Let's just do some of that. Let's get the limit break. That's fine, that's pretty good. Multiplier. It's lightning rod. So let's give it all we got. Diamond Dust actually does be pretty good here. Biggest damage. That's alright, it's alright. Yeah, that's a nice amount of kills. 62 k I can work with that. Right. It is a shame we've always got a reset. Not a shame. I know it just takes a while. We watch all these scenes. This is the one. Come on, guys. Rallying cries. <coughs> Give me your motivational speeches. Jose Rodriguez, let's go. Yeah, I should change a bit of the difficulty system on the next. No. Trust me. I'm your shield, remember? How do you do? Change a bit of the difficulty system. Best che boss check points should be an option. I, I totally agree. I didn't feel that. So satisfying to have a fight taken away from you. This won't be a job for every Does MG Plus still keep? Why would you turn to him, brother? I don't fully know what MG Plus does. Does it still give you potions? Well, cause, cause that's the thing, if that does boss checkpoint you, it also gives you the star <laughs> Right. I can make this happen, Captain. Man, I, I, I want to wall out of that shot right there. Such a beautiful Pez! Go on then, mate! If I use Titan's blocks that wasn't too bad. a bit more often, that was just the beginning. Shiva deep freezes. Let's bring this one in, in this guy. Now we're, in, we're in a good position. We outrun the Hellstrom. We don't want to get hit by this thing. It actually, it's crazy hard. Nice and cool, nice and cool. Hoorah! Ah, it was a full spin. It was a full spin. Oh, and that caught me as well! Fuck! That's gonna, that's a bit of an oucher. I think Diamond Dust here might be the way. Yeah, that was the way. Come on, Joshua. Let me some ladder. Try to clean that off as much as we can. Brutal, Brutus get caught in the last time. Wow, his life is low then. His life is low. Yeah. 
Massive, just about switching to the entire Oh, and it was the full spin. That almost went horrible. Right, let's get, let's lock it in. Let's lock in the win. That's a full combo. That's a full, yes! That's the whole fight. No checkpoints. Oh no, yeah, he's got his kill shot. He's got his kill shot, motherfucker. Oh God. He's staying around for the kill shot. Let's get airborne for the last. Cheap dash. Oh! Extinction, extinction. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Is it just that? Is it just that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> nice. There was, there was no checkpoint, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll reset it and yeah, yeah it was from the top. Mm. Took a few goes. But I knew he was being a cheeky boy when the kill didn't go in. I was like, what the fuck is What's good do? To be fair, that, that meteor is pretty rough. That extinction. Not so much though. You just gotta get out of, the way. Get out of the way. Yeah. All right. I was really expecting I might have to jump and, and dash through, but yeah. probably the weakest behemoth extinction. <laughs> I want a cool fight. Yeah, nice. Get good. Good get it did. All right, Behemoth Shackle. While it certainly hasn't stopped kings and emperors throughout history from trying, every attempt to tame Behemoth has invariably ended in tragic failure, or rather it had, until the kingdom of Willow discovered a means to influence the beast's primitive mind in the form of an enchanted shackle that channeled the powers of Carol Baskin and her love for cats. Presumably work similarly to Crystal Fetters, but without impending ethereal channeling. Curious? Yeah, cool, man. Quickly, before we're cut off for good. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy how rough that would have been with Imperial Infantry Blade. Yeah. If it is like the others, the entrance to the Inner Sanctum will be at the foot of the crystal. We're almost there. <sighs> mm. There's some potions on the stairs. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. So merciful. <laughs> wow, it's so hard now. Here, clear the whole, whole area. Ah. Ah. All these statues. Is he asleep there? Yeah, yeah, six legs. Uh, a load flag flying.
Just kicked it up a little notch. Look at that damage. Oh. Ah, vulture. Upheaval. There's another level, forty five. Mm. 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 I suppose giving up on his no gear challenge. No, still running no gear. I've just got a stronger sword. Maybe a little bit too strong. Maybe I might downgrade from Masamune to something a little bit less. Maybe that uh, Invictus sword. That behemoth was... Nah, he was the right dude. The packs are still just nothing burger squishies. And... Yeah. It's wild ever. Even with no gear, packs are not threaten this game. Why are you shaking your head, Bree? Getting attacked by a creature. Can I pull both both packs? There we go, let's pull them all into the square. Let's go, boys! Shiva! That's it. Come hither and dither. Gather. Let's gather. Let's gather. Yeah. <laughs> Melt, melt. You can have three of those kind of abilities. Even more powerful than Diamond Dust. Uh. Melt. Bye. Silence. Bug. I think you need to just you need to just take your clothes off and run into the lake. Hiding over it, cheeky boy. <laughs> right, it's back to that point. The mobs are so squishy, you can't even have a proper juggle time with them. Fucking <laughs> tissue paper. Yeah, this, this actually detracts from fun for me. Like a little, little if anything, just to play around. You don't play with them, but they squish you. There's more eyes there, and up people, people, wow! That's the just with the mouth thing. Switching some saucier moves. Diamond Dust is too powerful here. Let's go mesmerize and evil. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, there's a, there's a sharp. So sharp in the harbor. 
Oh, who is that? Is that just at least just walks? Oh no, there's a cannoneer man. Ha <laughs> There's a cannoneer man. He's teamed up with a bunch of ogres. This could get fun. Are you in danger? No, that's just like a little fly thing. No, it's not. You've got a squeak on you. Use Invictus, Pez. I'm going to run Imperial for this, because I think this, this area won't be too hard. But, yeah, I, I might actually start running Invictus for some bosses. Invictus is, what, 200 attack damage or something? Not what I was expecting. Here we go, let's get a big, fat, juicy jump. Float, you mesmerize, and then you upheaval. No <laughs> Wow, that cleared the packs out. Hello, boss. Trace into it. Yum, yum. Can I counter it? Probably, yep. Yeah. That didn't freeze him. That sucks. Using a pool there does one thing. That's huge, huge dagger damage. Major. Black powder. People finish. Up, 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 dash, mesmerize. Really? <laughs> I don't know, I understand sometimes with that combo, you lose your airtime. Yes. Oh. You go up. I think it's how you do your Garuda Claws. If you're starting to descend your Garuda Claws, your Dash Shiva is descending. Ground slam is embarrassing. I need a pee. 
Hello everyone, Pez. Get good though, legit, bros. Dodge at parries are on point last time. Sometimes I. Sometimes I go to from being like an 8 out of 10 in the game to like 2. I can oscillate back and forth in moments. Oh. I was talking about this earlier. So. On the last stream, I was talking about Clive's sort of shift between going from kill me, kill me, um, to we should create a place where people can live. I'm saying it to Sid. All right, in my mind, I've got to go back and watch the 16 movie so I can see all the pacing and structure and build up of the game to see where these things happen. Because to me, they almost happen back to back. But someone reminded me in the chat, and Bree also remembers it. It's like, no, we had like me and Jill in that time. We had fighting Clive's shadow self in that section. Uh, there, was, there was a lot, a lot of significant stuff. So though it happened in the earlier part of the game, and my brain these days, I can't remember story structures as well as I used to. And I legitimately, <laughs> I had a dream about it last night. I feel like I can date it back to when I got glassed over the head. I got glassed over their head in like an attack. I think it's fucked my memory up a little bit. A little bit. It's not like I can't remember anything, but I do need to have refreshers and reminders. That's a thing, right? Getting twatted over the head. You can fuck your memory up, right? And I'm getting old. TikTok brain. I, I have never been on TikTok. I've never scrolled through TikTok. I mean, I've like, I've done it on like my sister's account and whatnot, just to go, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm looking forward to um, basically going back into 16 and re-watching it all. Let's give myself the full sense of how this story played out, because I'm also doing this challenge, so it also breaks up into much longer Gameplay segments and... <laughs> So, just Dark souls -y slash bloodborne -y. Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be wow, easy that targets. Is, that is so cool. That is so cool. The broiling seas. Then we better move quickly. All the stonework. Uh, how, how are you going on taking this view right here? You know, old castles, fighting a behemoth, giant ass crystal over there. How are you going to look at all that? Listen to this music. And say, it ain't Final Fantasy. It ain't Final Fantasy. They should have they named this something different. If they called it, this is an old classic. If they called it something different, I'd have liked this game. Could you put Final Fantasy on it? You gave me expectations. You did me. How are you going to take in all this, this imagery, this tone, this mood, this atmosphere? It's all blobs. Not feel Final Fantasy. Crazy. Let's get juggling. Oh, I all. Oh, wow. Okay. Too hard. Poop for goop. Those lads nearly just had me guts. Uh, I lost my limit 
break. Nice, but they gave me a potion. Thank you, Auxeses. <laughs> Do you know what I just caught myself doing? Because I said the words Dark Souls and put it in my head. I was literally, I was just, I was corner checking. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, that's the first hit him. Oh, Clevins. Clevins. Attacks can we come in left and right? Let the spectre there. I'm dealing with you. Get out of here. Okay, I can take this guy. This is fine. Kind of worried about raging fist in his ground pound on this lower life. So he can have a radial explosion. That can that can hurt. Get behind, get the fuck in the back. Silence! It's kind of perfect to lose this opportunity. in the air, whiffing in the air, yeah. <laughs> that's behind. Let's get that thing. Much healing as I can, so thank you. Signal. <clears throat> Brits are a funny breed, that's why. Do you agree with that statement? Are we a funny breed? What's funny about us? Americans are the funniest of all breeds. <laughs> so. Because you could do that in NG. Plus. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. what can we do in NG? Plus? Checkpoint, do you mean? Or heal things? <clears throat> oh, I do have some good news for everyone, though. Um, very happy story that happened on the internet. Uh, uh, Amber Heard has decided to quit Hollywood and she's moved to the countryside and she's... she's... she's happy. Yeah, but, but she quit Hollywood. She oh, didn't get yeah. she didn't get booted out of it. She quit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 
Amber Heard, aka Annabelle. <laughs> Annabelle stepped on B. <laughs> the B. Oh, man. They're actually making a Netflix documentary out of the Johnny Depp trial. I saw, I think, was it, was it a Moist? Or was it Asmin? I think it might be Moist or about Netflix. The amount that they're creating, apparently they've created 900 originals this year. 900. I ain't seen half of them. One of them is also a Jake Paul documentary. <laughs> you ready for the Jake Paul documentary? No. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see. Did I just save? Ready? Through the castle then. The castle. I don't see any other way. No. Oh, I do like myself a big dark ghoulish castle. This is, uh... Ooh. This is all kind of very Viking-esque, these, these, this layout. Well, I don't know if it's accurate. I've seen it in Viking shows. They have these kind of spherical, balconied layouts. I wonder if we, we get to a beer hall. Man, a lot of sleep now. I'm surprised there's not a big Barnabas statue somewhere. Why the hell do we need a Jake Paul documentary? Because he's a POI. He's a person of interest. An interesting person. To who exactly, I don't know. Someone, I guess. Jake Paul was it Logan who created that absolute banger? Was it every time, I, every day I roll on that, every day I grow, every day I'm on that Disney Channel flow? How could you not make a documentary about that? Titan! I'm gonna punch these guys in the head. No, I'm not. This one. Oh. I'm back on Imperial. Back on Imperial, right? Because yeah, I'm still feeling so, so, so squishy. Mm -hmm. The only good YouTuber that kids love is Mr. Beast. Has there been some controversy with him? It's not like how Mr. Beast ruined his, but there's been shit like that. People, you want to take down Mr. Beast? <laughs> so hard. This is a bossy-ish arena. If ever I did see one, probably. I swear to God, game, if you send another Midnight Raven at me here, don't do it, game. Don't, don't do it. Oh, oh, no, Kashik. No. <laughs> With Ultima's corruption, those no bounds. We 
too far away. Oh, got him! <laughs> got people in his face. I still prefer my way of saying it. Qual. Qual. Sounds like Morgan Dead. Qual. Qual. No, Qual. Bye bye, meow meow. Noise pairs. Okay, magic dash, body high, meter right. Be done with you. Right. 
that's a bit of a save. That's it's, it'd be worth saving. Upwards! Oh, I wonder what the final dungeon is again in all day. Tell me what it is, Marie. Is it up on the great Cosmogony Worm? That's what Altima said. He said us. But on the back of the first worm. First worm back dungeon. You start from the sack. You move through the crack, and you head up on the back, fight on the air. Even a little lad who don't eat his carrots is one it killing in here. Last vegetable you ate, guys. Go. What was it? What was ours? Brie didn't eat her dinner yesterday. I made her a delicious meal of pea pasta, corn, pepper, uh, shroomies. She didn't eat it. That she sat in bed eating Burger King. God, I want a Burger King in bed. The healthier I eat, just the more degenerate, like, my fantasies of eating bad food. Like, right now, I want to dip chips in a milkshake. <laughs> I want to lay butt naked in bed with a pizza. On the chest. I want to dip your toes in Nutella and lick them. What? Too too much? Bam! Look at that collateral damage, guys. Look at that. Oh, do love that combo, it's so fun to pull off. It feels so. has a foot fetish confirmed. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a fetish, but feet are right. Feet are pretty all right. Why are you smiling? Why the fuck are you smiling? What, what makes it go from just being like, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's all right. I ain't saying no to that. That's pretty hot suit is a fetish. On the frequency and intensity, of that thing. Yeah, like if I... <laughs> I start wanting, wanting you to cosplay your feet. <laughs> Put your feet in little cosplay outfits. And just... Start asking you to like... Yeah, use oils and other things. And if ever you've got socks on, I'm just like, them off. I can't, I can't take them socks off. <laughs> Show me the good stuff. Feet are all right. I don't know, so many people are freaked out by feet, man. So many. Why? 
Unless you've got a couple of friends down there. <laughs> yeah, Fran had some messed up feet. I can't stand feet. What, what, what is it? Describe what it is you can't stand about. Oh, that's a cool. That's a very cool game. It's a very cool game. Because they're stinky and dirty. This looks like a whole vibe out here. Oh, I'm not gonna save. Frequent saving. Yeah, just bear in mind, guys. I mean, I'm appealing for infantry blading. And I'm no healing. And I'm not running that powerful deal. You guys must have just mushed through this fucking place, just like. Two of these lads, let's dance! Yeah! Oh shit, okay. There's always fucking more. Risky upheaval, why not? Oh. Yeah, my build is not going to be that well designed. But... Moves up, hard. These guys got to be We've mulled past these guys before. Go behind him, through the floors. Stay on him, run through the pool. No problem. Oh, okay, yep, yeah. oh, he's at me, he's at me. On his head. On the box. Oh no, he's at me again. Can I get a multiplier on you? Yeah, I'll just do this. Guys are just dealing with the other dude, which is very helpful. Cool off. I go to make it a few of Oh, 
uses this. These guys are so frustrating. <gasps> no way. There's no way I need this. Jesus. Oh, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm scared. I fear for my safety. New enemies approaching! Jesus, that was really, really spread out. So what we need to do is we need to get airborne and pull them. No. This is not good. Let's me rise. Upheaval! Fuck it. In the break. I ain't losing this. After that fight. Get the mages. Where else is coming? I just heard something big. I heard something big. What is, what is that then? Get the mages. No! No! Fuck, 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 fuck! Go, go, go that way! Who wants the mage? Yes! Holy moly! Holy moly! Right, let's get this guy. Right. Jesus, what else is up? Let's go then! I believe in myself. Oh, no, you hit no one. <laughs> oh, is that everyone? Oh, oh, we're catching. Ah, oh, fall oh, on. Oh, he's got some boys, he's got some boys. I don't want to focus on the... Oh, no, that doesn't I can't see him. If you keep making me focus, the mobs! Yeah. Fuck me. Big dodge. Yeah. Dog dicks. Big. Dog dicks. Oh. 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 <laughs> no. Ah! 
I knew I was dead with the Warlord. I mean, I thought so. I mean, I wish they sent something new and unique out at that point. I mean, maybe because Sakashi has got some extra spruce, but. Hey, you I knew I was. Yeah, oh, I've got to take it from. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Alright, we're playing on the top. Got no choice. Oh, you penis. You penis. Right, let's get this done nice and quickly. See if that's even a thing. I should have been using Limit Break more uh, throughout this fight. But I'll use it in a minute. Ah, what's this guy? The other boy on me? He is. Yes, I pulled both of them. Now, just like I asked. And after. <laughs> ah! But no. Oh, this is. Yeah, I've got both of them dancing on me now. Rather than Joshua at all. But that's pretty sick. Fuck that! Fuck that! I even hit him. Really? I'm low. I'm low again. <laughs> yeah. I put up my raging press. No. 100 HP. Why not? Why not? I wanted to go into Shiva to die, but I was on Garuda. <laughs> cool, interesting sequence. Quite a big segment of Nora! They were like me shooting both together. I could be hitting both of them with certain attacks. That's everything. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay, boys. Okay. Is that both of them? That's both of them! Woo -hoo -hoo. I can't see nothing. Oh, that was very juicy. I should limit break again soon. Yeah. 
Goddamn bird! That part of them as well! Now that's need of them! <laughs> oh, I got spit roasted! Oh! Get much healing from that. This is wow. much fun of this way. Oh, this guy's almost down. Here. I mean, we can have the packs and mobs come. Maybe not. That is a very cool fight. I like both of them being in. It's very jumpy. It's very ghoulish. It's high adrenaline. But it is long. <laughs> bugger. Bugger, bugger. <laughs> Use level fives in Texican. I then I have the points, Captain. I have 3,000. I mean, do you think I should do it? Experiment, because I've never had level five Zentetsukum. I could just reset Judgment Bolt and have a little, a little play around. Maybe, maybe Odin for here could be a fun switch up. As long as it's fun, I don't want no meta nonsense. Let's, okay. Probably dance, uh, Heaven's Cloud. Dancing still might be, no, nah, it won't be hard to pull off here actually when they're flame breathing. Might be kind of easy enough, right? I don't, I don't know if I see Garuda I'm like dancing with. Fuck it. Let's go for this. Level 5 Zentetsukum. I'll keep the rest. Let's try this. Never seen the level 5 yet. This could be... This could be very juicy. 
Please, Pez, go play DMC5 again. Yeah. yeah. You are real, I want me to. Missed. Whip. That's a whip. I want to stay grouped up on both of them again. You can't cancel out of that that slicey slicey blade. Fuck! Fuck go! Oh go! Fuck go! I'm so bad on those. This level five I better be insta kills. Where was I? Where was I? I could... <laughs> Woo! Nice try. Hold off the level five! I failed. No! <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So bad. I feel, I, feel, I feel like I can't just sit on Odin. I need to use the other abilities to create my openings. I need to use the boot freezes more. Uh, Please say. Five. Yeah, yeah, it's not as hard as it is. Come on. Uh, I missed, I missed, I missed with Pepper Splat. Well, I've got Zentes can fight. Huge. Oh, I need to be in. Okay, I want to get them both together. I need to be in Odin's Blade. I need to both have them here. This is good. Go! Get them both! Get them back! Ooh! Uh, okay, uh, a thing happened. Was the thing good? I don't really know. Oh, God, dance is still so hard to hit. <laughs> ah! Ah! Fuck you. Guys, guys, boys, boys, boys. Easy. There we go, deep freeze. Again. One day I'll hit a dancing blade. One day. So I should probably just maybe when I've got them caught up. There go. Oh, here they are, the broken pace. No, he kicked me in the head before I could cast it. Oh, the damage in that was so pretty, pretty spicy. In the head. Oh no. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was a tiny guy.
Is the other guy dead? Did he die? Oh, if I keep my Zentetsu apart when the big box come, there might be a small sliver of chance to pull this back. Tiny, next to nothing. Zentessa can five. Well, I mean, I know if it's like multiple mobs, it instantly melt. The damage seems pretty good. Rift Slip is good with Dancing Steel. If you cancel a move, it slows down time. Then you can charge Dancing Steel. See, I tried this uh, the slowing down time thing. Couldn't make heads or tails of it. Then you can charge Dancing Steel during the time slow. See, I practiced that Rift Slip and it didn't seem to slow down time. Must have been using it wrong. Uh, five. Of course, there's more. There's always gonna be more. Too slow. I want to pull them all together. Where's that guy? Come over here, please. You fiend. Fucking fiend. Can I freeze that? Alright, so intense can fight. I want to bring him over here. Where's the other chap? Hello, chap. Where are you? He's oh, over there. This, is, this might be too hard. There we go. I see my opportunity. Get him down! Oh, I wasn't in Odin too much. Oh, my kitty on! Did I just miss him? That's all. He got him dashed. I don't need that. Either. He's doing a Sweden guy. Dance is still now. <laughs> Odin is driving me up the wall. I want to be good at it. I want to be good. It's just, it's fucking. Ah. Ah. You can't make final pairs. Can you tell me? I'd say as. Order to my screen is your duty. It's your god given duty. You have the only one. <laughs> nice try. Right, see you. I'm just gonna get myself hit and hit no one! Dancing Blade is the hardest thing in the world to kill. No one has ever landed a dance slow. Where's the other guy? While I've got the other one on me, I'm going to focus on him. You get both of that aggro. 
kill the dogs of death. <laughs> Cancel. Let's try. I can do it! Hit him! Yeah! I hit it! That's a face shift through to me. Hit him. Here. Right, getting staggered, and we dance and blade on his face, and then his grave. How much intensity does that give me? Right, three intensity. Definitely should upgrade dancing soon. I don't have so many points. Why would I upgrade this nonsense? Odin is nonsense. It's it's such a risky biscuit play. It's so hard to land. Oh, my God, at the end of this, I want to, uh, I kind of just want to almost pull up a metal building. Get it done. We'll see what the fucking No, no, I can do it. I can do this with that Odin build. Good. 
mangle him. Ah, mangle him. Come on. Half past eight. He's protecting his buddy. <laughs> I tried to cast Arctic Wave. Just cast it. Raw Dog it, Clay! Raw Dog cast! Oh, fuck, that was bad. Me, 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 me! Oh! Mochi, mochi! Oh! No! Put myself into the low life category. Nice try. Gonna phase through. Safety lad. No, I missed. Oh. Seventy HP, guys. Seventy HP. Ha ha! Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. In the phase in. There we go. Pull with him. Dancing still. Do I stand triangle? I'm doing nice and still. I don't know what it is. No, 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 Second, I went slicey dice again. <sighs> Odin, let's discuss. <laughs> let's discuss. <sighs> He's a tough cookie. I'm so untrained with him. What do I do at this point, guys? I need you to decide. I've died a few times here. Do I just bring out the big, the big build, the big get it done build? Because we want to see some story. Or do I continue to suffer on Odin? What say you? You almost won. I mean, I can win that fight, but then I'll get, I'll get booty slapped. Become warlord. Cold snap into dancing steel. It's true. It's true. Go for the meta build. And I. Only way I, sh I should have done this already. I was going to poll it, guys. I'm going to poll it. Meta, get it done, build. Meta or struggle. As simple as that. Struggle will be clinching down the line, rough magoo all the way. Meta, get it done. Spank some butt. See some story. What vibe are you guys after? I think I, I can already anticipate what you guys want. Though. Is that pole gone up for you, Brie? No. It, it's like frozen on my end. Yeah, it's not bad yet. Okay, I think that just bugged out completely. Right, is the poker up now? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! 
Ooh, straight up, Meta goes. 90%. They just want the story. And that was what was promised to stream. I've already fluffed around enough. All right then. Heat wave will be juicy here. Willow White, absolutely. Uh, I mean, the packs, there will be a big pack after this, but uh, really going to be a threat. Uh, lightning Rod here, probably not. I could probably still run Ice Age, and that would be alright. Be alright. Impulse ain't gonna freeze these guys up. But run a Raging Fist on there. That's the meta build. Except Ice Age. I'm gonna say, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, that's the one. It's got some freeze on it. It's pretty juicy. Infantry Blade, no things. Yep. Thank you for the votes, guys. We get it done. Watch me now wipe here and I will cry. You will see a grown ass man cry. Uh, I'm adjust my brain first. Right, can I count on rations? That's the Rations to dodge. Ferocious! Ferocious! The old Baptist stuff. Oh, 
if I can get a Mega Flare charge for when the mobs come. No, no. No, I want us to jump over, flash in with Mega Flare. Keep that happening. Alright, now we want to finish him as soon as. We'll get the mobs. Build myself back up with the ogre. Cold blooded. Cold blooded trophy. How many guys are left? Just this one. Right, we might as well build Mega Flare with him. Ready for ogre phase? Gosh, Ah, Mega Flare gonna cancel. Come on, guys, spam the like button. Spam the messages of the oh, no. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Sell it, sell it. Relax. Take it easy. To me, Blake. Got a heat wave, and we got a big heat wave in. Might as well diamond dash and probably drop a little in the place room. Best one in the white place. Go! 
No, it builds to the wind. Must go diamond as well. Shots at me. This build has everything, every kind of counter you could possibly want. This build delivers it. So you've got your melees, you've got your range, you've got your big, your big bang bangs. I'm kind of risking it going into Mega Flare. Alright, why about we'll make it happen? Get out of here! That's nice, get the Mega Flare attack. To be honest, that's way too far away. Come on, scan. Here's where they send another wave at me. <laughs> Come on, game. Let me go. Right. Big heat wave counter finish. Oh, oh. Oh. Delicious! Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Almost bit. There you go, that's the difference. I don't think meta and non-meta build. Meta just being what I can actually competently use. <laughs> it's done. I did it. I did it for you. For you. Yeah! Really enjoy that setup. I feel fluid with it. I've got muscle memory with it. Odin, on the other hand. We love Geiger Flare. Mm -hmm, yes, we do. It's a very masculine ability. It's definitely a guy. I've never had a female Bahamut. That would be cool though, wouldn't it? Female Bahamut would be pretty sick. I can king of the summons, you know. Yeah. King of the summons. Who's queen of the summons? No, see that's what, well, you kind of, no. She's usually a human queen. She's been a queen in seven. She was a queen in this. Leviathan might be the queen. But then, I don't know, Leviathan was king of the summons in four. High five. Friend. Put that high five. Mix it with the chat. Everyone put your, your hand into that five. We're all gonna Here. coalesce it into Brie. Give it to me. Give it to Brie. Give me a high five. So this will be a high five to 127 of us. <laughs> yeah. Good job, guys. You hungry? Go have an apple. Apple? <laughs> have an apple. Fang had Bahamut. Fang did have Bahamut. It's very true. Brie, why are you showing everyone your booty bum cheeks? They can see. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Okay. Now the fun begins, Pez. I, I bet it does. 
We made it to the steps of the... Well, made it in the courtyard of the castle. More? I've got to ask a question. Does Torgal ever need his claws or fangs sharpened? Like this amount of gnawing and nomming, it would, it would wear down his bones. I hope they're giving him good calcium. Probably just using ether. Well, too. It's so aggressive. You want another bite? Mm -mm. That was a big bite. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> There's no end to them. The whole bloody army's here. Mm -hmm. Stand back, Joshua. Oh my god. Summoning a freight. Stop it, guys. Multiple ogres. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have no left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die? What? Hello? What the fuck? What? <laughs> the Enterprise? Yes, it, it, oh, right. Okay. Hold up. What? Why has the volume disappeared? Oh, Siri, bugger off. I... I'm sorry, I can't find you, Enterprise. <laughs> Don't wait, it found us. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to bust into the wall. Let's go. Dion! Dion, get Ah! The whole squad! Go on, laddie! Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah! Take your little smile. Take your little Dion smile. Gav is definitely out of his step here. Gav, stay on the ship, man. <laughs> da, 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 da. Whoa! That was freaking cool. That made me nerd out pretty hard. Yo. This is it. This is our Avengers Assemble moment. <laughs> Surprised to see us. Oh, she's, she's smiling yeah. so much more these days. He told days. us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. The face, the faces in this game, like you see it. That's the face of someone in love. She just, oh, good. Oh, gosh. When love we saw this. the heavens come crashing down, we had no choice but to believe him. <laughs> Group hug! Quite Come dead. on, guys, group hug! You too, Dion! <laughs> so what do we owe this honour? A debt I would see repaid. Prince Dion. I hope the ending is this happy. <laughs> good to see you well. Oh. So, this must be Ifrit. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Yes, yeah, you got an your army? Heart. It will guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. I wish Byron was here. Thank <laughs> you. For everything. Your Highness. Dion, please. You do realise the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? <laughs> Goats is your lord and there it is. ships uh, quite finished. <laughs> well said, Gav. <laughs> Goats is so out of place. Yeah! Goats. Oh man, that was epic. <laughs> that was really epic. Oh, he's our vendor, that's why. But don't suppose there's our concern to make you change your mind. So I'll just tell you to stay safe. None won't take kindly to losing oh. a best customer. Especially after letting us carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. And we wouldn't want to anger old Dan. <clears throat> you mean, you'll buy some at offers? Oh. Oh, I, I, I have to buy something off him. Right, what's the big hammer? Welcome to the big hammer. <laughs> Welcome to the big hammer. Hey! <laughs> Wow, Rune Blade, plus one, two, eight, five. Right, that's not bad. Reinforce. Can I, can you not reinforce purples? 
Is that is that the gig here? Is all done then? No. Anything else I no. can make for you? <laughs> Goatsy plonker. Defender. Wow. Throughout history, it's a good defense. So with a name like Defender, um, best of both worlds. Oh, I got to buy some enough, you mate. We'll buy a Thank you. Soul. Thank you. That's a moon. Oh, I'll sell. Circle of Heaven. Some bracelets. What is this? I've got. Wait, I've got. Have I got 99? No, I've got 79. Really right. Got loads of clam shells. I've never looked at any of this. I've got a lot of shit. <laughs> Can I uh, now well reinforce done, then. Defender? Enhancer. Oh. You don't want me to make yours out else? Give us a shout if you need out else. How does Defender look? That's pretty cool. Thank you, goats. I only bought that for pity, though. I've been doing it for AAA for days. I couldn't have made it this far without you, Torgal. Oh, why does this feel like Point of No Return ish? Crew lined up, having chats. I'm not near the end of the game, am I? Ray! Get in there, okay. Each parting brings the hope of reunion. I missed you, Clive. I oh. missed you too. Oh, they're so sweet. This, this couple. How do we all feel about Jill and uh, Clive's relationship? Classic Astinian pose. There is pose. so much I would learn of your tale. Once this day is done, I'll see you at the then, credits, Dion. All who might come between me and such knowledge shall answer to my speech. I got so excited smacking the table, I just <laughs> I killed my capture card. I killed my cat I know Dion's so dope! <laughs> Dion me <laughs> Dion absolutely up there top ten, maybe top five of my favourite characters. For sure. Dion versus Sid though. Mmm, that's a toughie. How where would you guys vote on that? I mean just on his significance and him staying around and how uh, exciting the Sam Breck sections were, how powerful it was. Damn, like they are set. Dion might actually clinch Sid out. But just by a margin. Oh, I feel like if I press this button, big shit's gonna happen. Are we ready to press on, guys? Or should we go away and do Hunts and side quests and, and, and chronoliths. Absolutely not. We'll press on. Let me charge my Mac. Oh, what a journey this has been. It's been huge, meaty, mighty. So much heart and soul. Over top craziness. I've been on a farm fancy. Sid, Sid still gets it for you. That deal is just badass. So badass. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. Proceed into the sanctum. Eee. Uh, am I going into the sanctum with meta build on? Talk to Gav too. Shit, don't I know to get one chance. All right, just yeah. How bloody rude! You? Where are you, Gav? <laughs> if Sid were here today, I reckon he'd be proud of you, Clive. He'd be proud of us all. Come on, hug boys, hug boys. <laughs> Joshua and Dion formed a very tight relationship very quickly. Um, they did meet when they were kids. You're right, yeah. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. 
and ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. At once. Let's do it. Well, is this, I'm just sitting thinking what might happen in this next section. Oh my head. Will we get to see Ghost Sid? Ghost Sid and Benedicta? Oh, handless go Ghost Hugo? We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream. Our dream is within our grasp. Spam the like button, we guys. We can only endure this final trial. And we shall. Final trial. Together. There's no way. This is final trial. Well, we think it is. Get all the Pezzies assembled. Let the algorithm tell the internet. We're you going into the spice. What it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. That is a power team I'm right there. I... Goats go home. I'm not saying goats. I'm not saying it. He's goats. He's a big goat. He's a big goat man. Oh. Whoa, more poor cash of grammars. What the f Yes! <laughs> rather we remain. Holy hell. Is he gonna Bahama? I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Oh, we're getting separated from Thank the team. Jill and Jill and Dion. You have a good chance against <laughs> that pack. I'm so scared for now. You. Here we go! Sounds of fire, he looks both here. No! Toggle! No! No! Four! Four, it's Toggle! Oh no, Clive went in as well. Toggle jumped in with us. Oh fuck. Oh. We'll be alright, Jill. You, you've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not bigger. Yeah, you've got other fish to fry. <laughs> Toggle's such a good boy. Such a good boy. Oh, and it still puts the fear in. Yeah, the gold into me. Did Joshua come through as well, though? Yeah. Joshua! He instanced insta both of us. Joshua! Wake this up! This is why you boys needed to stay apart. Clive, is that you? This, this isn't stone here. Metaphysical space. The old floaty, floaty. Crumbly castle Welcome guys. to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All, All of them. Oh, As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out looks like a bird in the cage. Through Ultima. In way. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, kind of. We find him and we leave. What was that zone in uh, FF9? Uh, what was it called? Um, that we went into the rifty type space, castle, weird, windy, twisty staircase, the big clocks. It was all upside down and stuff. Vibes of that. But I mean, this is the sort of stuff when I when when I thought 16 when it was gonna be. It's like, are we gonna be going into like? 
things like space and we're getting all these uh, crazy, floaty, voidy, rifty worlds. So many people doubt it. No, this would be a classic medieval grounding story. <laughs> uh, this is a cool tune. Um, are there going to be mobs along the way here? Oh, that was a chest, this is just a rock. Should I take a mob clearing build? If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. We must go back to the beginning. More time. When I'm so ready. Was still young. We visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. Ultimus Tech giving us a story time. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. Is that supposed to be like the a a pool descended oh. upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. We. Oui. So, so looking at that, the kind of the towers, it does look like those those uh, fallen civilization structures. Yeah, I'm saying we, our, is it leaning down the whole moves? It was the king, the emperor, one of the, uh, the higher ups of that. Or maybe they made him for salvation. If it was magic that caused the blight, what of the mother Christmas? Continue on and I shall tell you more. I expect he'll tell us soon enough. Oh, I hate 16. It's, it's got so much story. It's got so much story. It's like 60% story. I, I don't know how anyone, anyone could ever stay focused on a story that goes on for 60 hours. How anyone could have the attention span that, I don't know. This is the shit I live for. Woo! So, uh, old mum was either one of those higher ups of the film race. That's my guess. But they also say, yeah, old mum made the mother cross. So they thrift that a few times and came after man fought the gods. Am I supposed to jump across here? Eh, I'm lost. I'm lost in the dimensional room. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. Ooh. An unprecedented ah. journey lay before us. One beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Of these. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. Is that Ballastia then? A land as pure what? as driven snow. Are they aliens? Ballastia. Oh, they're aliens! Yeah. UFOs, Brie! UAPs! Unidentified something phenomena. I mean, I'm guessing that. Not that they came from, because there's already multiple continents in this world. Ballastia is only a continent. It sounds like they from somewhere else. Would the true work begin? For the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution. Maybe they're from a different the continent. illness having oh, spread to every organ, there was but one escape from this fate to start afresh. 
with a new world. The one for which Barnabas labored. A paradise free from the blight where his God awaits. And where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. Well, yeah, he would. And follow we shall. For now. Very juicy. I hope this crescendos into some cool drop, reveal, or twist of some sort. Hints, guys. Go on, man. What? Just a little, little hint or two. Go on, little spoiler. <laughs> thank you, thank you. To forge a new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Yeah. Untouched by the blight. Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels Crystals. in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. He's made us. humans? That's peace. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. This is some Luthanian nonsense. Secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. He became Alone woke. In a world woke culture. Of his God's radiance. <laughs> He stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. Damn, so all and from that is gone. single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired ever more. Become God and get immortality. Let's just quickly yes, see what's going on in there. I know the, the, I'm not supposed to really read the uh, the law points, am I? While we're going through it, they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean that that sin he's talking about. So he's talking about man becoming aware, aware of himself, which is the Adam and Eve story, right? It's Adam and Eve's story. They bit the apple of knowledge, became aware of themselves, their nature, and then they were ashamed that they were ass butt crack naked. Oh, oh. That which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource. And the land she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we are one and the same. Rossfield rose on a. <laughs> They're as ravenous for Laura as I am right now.
with Ultima, anyone else wanting a Jack Garland moment from Clive? <laughs> well, Ultima is just giving law. I don't give a fuck! <laughs> no, I don't want that. <laughs> Jack Garland, Jack the Story Skipper. Jack the Skipper. That imagery, all those people and those pillars. Oh, it's cool. Is that the freed or what's left of him? Oh. Whoa. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Valestia cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The big. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. I, I feel like a bit of a, a donut, but this is legitimately the first time I'm noticing that Ultima has four eyes. <laughs> Uh, the first time I've noticed. So that statue was, yeah, it was Ultima the whole time. But what he was calling it, he, uh, he was calling it Malleus, weren't he? Barnabas. Wasn't it Malleus? Yeah. Interestingly, an hour ago on Twitch, I just had Square Enix follow me. Yeah, Square Enix has followed. Did it flash up on the screen? Do I have Twitch follows flashing up? Square Enix has followed. Oh, right, lads! Hey, you bad dude, give us a sponsorship already. Why the fuck didn't you send me a nice care package with a big old juicy Valencian mug and the little pieces of tea stained art? That's my gift. I have a look at this time, Square Enix, but I swear to God. It's getting on thin ice. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our mythos, it is time at last so, for yeah, you Clive to serve Yeah, Clive is the strong group. He's the strong constitution. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. Boo, 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 boo. The fault is yours. Get that out of my Our wills were born because you abandoned us. Oh. Oh. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. What? Okay. Is this wow. truly so difficult to comprehend? You're just going to be that big a dick, are you? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. And the rest of humanity can go... Humanity can none go shall us. follow, none shall remain. What do you mean? Unscrupulous... Bastard. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! Whoa! Okay, Clive's had enough. He's... Oh, no. What? Whiff. Oh. That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Whoa. That was a bit embarrassing. Brother. But can you do the same to Joshua? We are in his dimension. I can't do this alone. 
And you don't have to. Because we have Torgal. I grow weary of your descent. Is he going to put the flame in there? Now you must learn okay. that this master will not tolerate disobedience. Hold on, the fight. Right here, right now. Whoa. Whoa. What the? Mini Ifrit? Is this is some Kalunda wings as well. My friends. My family. That is all suffered. All fought to survive. Do you see? That design reminds me of something in 14. Was it the Dark Knight or something? I remember the Dark Knight where it was like the Chocobo barding or something. It looks very similar to that. Mike! Whoa! Come on, Pez. Uh, come on. Come on, Square! Make Pez's dream come true. Make him an NPC. That is a life goal. I mean, 16 with like ridiculous, st stupid, wacky, zany British voices. This was my opportunity. <laughs> this was my opportunity! I might not get it again. I don't know. I'll reach, I'll reach out to him. I actually le legitimately did start an email to him for <laughs> a voice acting role in this. I didn't send it though. I should have followed through. Oh, looks like Devil Kazuya from Tekken. Yeah, this design, I've, uh, it, it's reminding me of somewhere. It looks like if at 2.0 in 14. Yeah, I feel like over the course of the 14 journey, this rings may be flawed. Some memory. It may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own. <clears throat> right, if this is indeed a fight, this press is one for white, two for no white. Off hard. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's what you And I shouldn't be in farming mode right now. And, and thus, Ultima took over the world, uh, absorbed Clive as his vessel, brought about the end of days. Um, humanity got absolutely slooped and pooped. And Ultima continued on through the cosmos. Later had himself a little alien girlfriend. She got pissed off with him because he cheated on her. So then she left the galaxy. She zoomed and she landed on Gaia and was thus Genova. <laughs> Genova is Ultima's girlfriend, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh. Um, wipe or no wipe now? Press wipe or no wipe now. Yeah, thank you for the orange rain, Mike. Let me... They come out of titillating story mode, back into combat man mode. <laughs> Clive died. Just the one of you, eh? Yeah, it's definitely a jump over, that one. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm gonna see if I can get a counter, a blade counter. Oh no, I didn't jump in time. Jump cut! Fine. Go get the stuff going. Wait, where is he? Are you out there, Ultima? Oh, that's, that slowly approaches. Deep freeze. How'd you like that, Paul? Could have countered the gravity. Get wrecked. I missed that. Ah, oh, I've got white. He's going through. Have it. One of them. Ash, I can die, I can die just like a limit. Spend on the right. Meta Builder. Gonna win the day. Let's go. And that counter. Yum, yum, yum. Is it still with inventory blade, guys? No gear. Oh, I want to counter that. Ah, oh, I could have countered that. Fuck you. Not good. Eat that. Eat my shoes. Oh, get the full charge up. Yeah! Oh, he brought the lasers back around for the first time. I see, I see, that feel like killing me. I'm in a bit of danger here. No, I didn't have Shiva. No. I wanted to dash. I wanted to dash. <laughs> so all the fight is dope! Go back in. All right. Rather than each wipe, pressing wipe or no wipe for the next one, how many goes do you think is it going to take me to get home up? Should I full phase him? No checkpoints. I'm hitting all right. Damage, considering my 75 bleed. I can do this. I can absolutely do this. Should have just countered. I need to trust myself. Mark of the storm. What can I do there? Dash the right way, you penis. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Wait. Oh, oh god. I, I didn't get the count on the ground. I'm dead. No, I'm just thinking of this. I'm just thinking of this. No. I feel all thumbs, all thumbs between my circumstances. 16 wipes, 69 wipes, 27 wipes, lame and dame. Right here, right now. I'm gonna have to go rip resting bitch face. Nice try. 
That was bad. I'm gonna save some stats until I start getting a bit low. Right, that's gonna give us a slow burner. And this? Oh, no, that's getting it. Come at me, come at me, dude. Come at me, dude. Ooh, just about caught that. That was pretty lucky. Shit. Oh, Oh, he's almost at stagger. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Uh, yeah, go to to still heal me. Good, 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 good. Uh, oh. to freeze up his bar. That's okay. Ha! 
Bring your big blade out. But I'll take that one. He's spamming. Can I counter that gravity from over here? Yeah, it's probably a bit risky to try to. Like, Such foul taint may not be sublime through game standing. Let's go, guys! Let's go! Only with heads hung low is penance paid. This shit's about to get wild now, isn't it? Oh, wretched mortals incapable of even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. Is that it? That's the end of Event Horizon? Okay. Ah. Sorry. That's fine. Uh, probably want to die just now after this. Let's be honest. Get some limit going. Stagger time as much as we can. Can I do that as well? I can. Like oh, I'm gonna get hit by it. I'm gonna get sunk up. Fuck! Oh no. Alright, first big mistake. White before he drops some gnarly. No, he's come at me with his weapon. Fine. Seeing what he's doing through the spell effects is nine tenths of the fight. How about back in your mood? Oh, bloody hell. What's he doing? He's gonna come in with a weapon. Yeah, that's fun. No! Okay, that's fine. I just need to stay frosty on this. Wow, he's busting a lot of juice. My nose is itching. I don't have anything for that. Oh, 
off. <laughs> oh, oh. Did I, I think I, ne I went near the event horizon. That's all the training I need for a win. Is it gonna, is it gonna phase checkpoint me? I don't feel like I'm ready to take mass immune yet. I still feel with Imperial. Why are you laughing, Bree? Massimune. Yeah, he's gonna go into the second place. Should I reset? Oh, yeah. I'll give him one more go on this. Might reset. My deep freeze after is probably the better way to go. Fire and flame! I'm pulling my counters and stuff. Oh, did that look too soon? Do melee or range. Ah, oh, I've got to start catching the spears right. Yeah, diamond. Get more limit break. Better for than me. There we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Big damage. Yeah, I mean, this second phase is more or less 
two extra bells and whistles. Fast days. Big resetting. Change mark is down there. be risky, I'm going to go behind him. And the risk is not going to pay off. Oh. I'll take a level two. I'll take a level two. I think he's going to do another swipe around. That's me. Thing in my raging fist cool down. Shiva just feels much safer on this sequence. I don't want him to get me locked up near the vent horizon. Woo! Ashley, come on, go to fly! Doing. He's getting spicy. Gifted this chance. And still you would raise your hand against the Lord. The Lord! Now, the darkness bends. But why? He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Please don't give me a dick, so you guess check. Oh. Oh! 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 Oh, you dirty man! You... You dirty, disgusting bitch, Elmer! <laughs> that many swipes! Every dodge a miss. Oh! Yeah, you know it's going to checkpoint me. I can't... I can't rightly take a checkpoint in there. Oh God, let me take a second. Reconfigure, see who's in the chat. What are you guys saying? Only power of friendship can beat Marilyn Manson. <laughs> um, so you think using ether magic is what causes the blight? Yeah, by the looks of it, wherever the implication is either Ultima came and his lot came from a different continent. I mean, the fact that there's structures on Valisthea, so I mean, they either came from a different continent where or a different planet, wherever they were, they dabbled. They dabbled with magic. 
And they started encroaching blight on their own world. So then they sought salvation. They found a land that was plain. I mean, it could be another planet or is it the same planet? But more or less, they then found Ballastia, made humans, because for their salvation they needed two things. Clive is one of those ingredients. Then they went to sleep, started the old Prometheus event. Went to Snoozy Town. Humans got woke in their absence. And then started encroaching their own blight. So yeah. I think Alton was trying to stop the blight. No, man. No, man, he's, he's, he's just trying to preserve his own species in his race, isn't he? <clears throat> The bigger consumption, the bigger the blight spreads. The hideaway proves you can live with within the confines of the blight, though. So I was thinking this last night. One one cool part I would have liked to have seen in 16 is... So you have this subjugated, magic-using race. And whenever we've seen bearers, they're used for, like, very menial tasks. Freezing fish in a bucket. <laughs> using wind magic to trim the verge. Um... And that's well and good, and I understand why, obviously, Clive essentially has this army of bearers, but none of them use magic offensively, because, of course, it, it drains them and it kills them. So, But I would like to have seen a few instances of bearers going rogue. Like we, we've actually never seen... Have we seen a bearer, like, going in with magic? Even if there was, like, one in this game, or a couple, a couple of side quests, like the fire like bandit or something and he broke away from his master and he he mastered the arts in an offensive manner and he's just on a mad revenge and he's casting spells and shit and as he's doing it you know, he's degrading and stuff i know all the bearers in this are so pacified and i understand why because it's the world that this is in but it would have been cool to see people other than icons or dominance using that power the abbey pairs actually yeah you're right you're right when they the black shields came to the abbey the bearers leapt out of their bed and used their powers but we didn't see that we didn't see that so yeah the the, the, the theme was in there and the story did happen but it would have been cool there was a big war between magic users and humans when when the, the, the battle between Dalmec and um, the Iron Kingdom, because they were like using external power. And even that, even using, because there's part of the story where you can use like crystals and soup yourself up on them. That would have been kind of cool to see a bit more of. Someone kind of having a bane moment on ether. <clears throat> Although I suppose that's what the Akasha gives, right? <clears throat> I guess you could say everyone that says Hardway popped off using magic. Hey, popped off, what do you mean? So yeah, this fight, would you guys awfully forgive me if I ran it from the top? Would you awfully mind? I feel like I can get Ultima all in one go. I mean, that phase is awfully... I could just train this phase quickly. Ah, uh, but then what if I don't... This is a long fight with this blade. I don't know. I don't know how to play this. Train on this phase, one from the top. One from this phase. I'll just, just carry on. <clears throat> oh yeah, that is true. We did have that fight with Tiamat. Yeah, yeah, Tiamat. He threw some spells at us. Oh uh, yeah, like well, that's kind of one thing we did see. You know, Sam Brett did utilize magic users. Like, well, Clive, they didn't actually know was. Did they know he was? The, yeah, of course they did. Now, did they know he was the Ifrit? Did they know he was a magic user at the point that they branded him? Because Clive weren't using magic, was he? He wasn't a standard bearer. So when he was in that that group, go for it, Pez. Try plus one. 
Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. I actually think I have to go into the fight. All right, and then, and then I can. Be too forgiving if I just. Well, Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender the like heart. Oh wow! Timings on those are. Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Ho -ho! Roger Dodger, that's wildness. <laughs> that a bit, that combo has so much stagger. You, you got a, you got a slow, you got a slow, you got a quick, and you got a middle. <laughs> That's gonna require some hella skill to uh, to get dodges on that. I don't even think Wikes will save me. Let's have a little just a field for we reload. Those are easy. Dodges. Gonna zoom out. Turn it back. Oh. Oh, yeah. The old MMO would have it to back. Prostrate yourselves. It's the Ruffy with those freezes. <laughs> oh, I bet the horizon white in my face. Ah! What's it gonna drop? What's it gonna
Crows. That's not bad ways of doing with it. Ooh, not, not bad ways of doing with it. I'm gonna trust myself to do this about twice. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> that didn't get the count right. Get that raging fist immediately. I can. Wowee. Oh, massive. He's gonna come back the other way, isn't he? Gonna do the big spell soon. I'm gonna counter him. Yeah, just about. Clark <laughs> and Josh are dropping the lasers. I say he's up the bar. Uh, has he got another phase? We find out. There we go! 
Trust. Trust myself. No good. Oh. 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 So sketchy, so sketchy. time as much as I possibly possibly Staggering for time. Stall for another white, and I kind of need one. I don't drop anything nasty. Nothing nasty. No, not deliverance. No. <laughs> Worst time. <laughs> Seconds off of white. Seconds. <laughs> he was so glad. I know my. Um, my camera's blocking his health bar. Pequeño. Pequeño. Uh, I knew I was in trouble. And that moment, just that little moment of weakness where my timings are bad uh, on cooldowns and he had to go and drop a deliverance for him there. We were so close. Uh, what do you guys think? I, I'm going to actually pull this. We either go from the top or we take it from that phase. I'll say you guys. What do? From top, no boss checkpoints, or just continue on? From top or continue? You guys vote up. Those flame whips are rough. I knew I was so low life, I had limit break, and I could have tried, but when you're doing your limit, it is, it's 50-50, which one of his hits you counter. It's very 50-50, and I couldn't afford to say one more hit. What gets your vote, Bree? From the top will continue. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of like even footed on it. That's why I'm leaving it to a poll. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of even oh, Stevens. Giggity flare. <laughs> Giggity goo. I'm, I'm, I'm go, get, go have some num nums. Make us a, a delicious succulent meal. Oh, are those beans soaked? Yeah, do you want some Maybe. Maybe press on. Right, 70% of you saying press on. 
So we press on. Yeah? Well, yeah, maybe. I have a snack when we cook later or do something now. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender the See what I mean? Us. Two hits. Two it seems like first two hits consistently land. And that's a lot of life parts and moves. A lot of life parts and moves. Yeah. Gotta get my cooldown going by now. Fast as possible. What you guys want? Not really many moves for heat wave here. Just got reckless. That was yummy. Limit break if I don't do this. Don't do it. Will I destroy the pen horizon? Will I do this? Nasty. That's pretty good. It's pretty yummy. Now I'm going to try to Raging Fist this last one. Yeah, it's always going to be a whiffy. Kind of... It whips. He's doing the flybys, you can't really land where you can. Again, my shield on my titan for me. It's hurting low. Right, I need to save limit break. Probably get deliverance soon. I'll be sketchy because I don't have ranks. 
fuck. You wanna try to dodge two of them? Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! Fuck, I mean... Ugly, not free. I'll try to narrate to you guys as live. I know you guys have seen it. I'm gonna need this. No, no, I'm still gonna get him. There we go, we'll take that. We'll take that. Okay, Ultima's bar has whipped down for a glorious back 15%. Timing this, I might get caught out. No. Woo. I don't know when I should block whites. I feel like I should just save it for whenever you block deliverance. I don't know when that shit's coming really. Probably say it is the smart move. Yep, now. Come on, get the counter. Perfect! Perfect! Right, the bar's ripping down. We've got that in time. There is he. There is he. He's over there. That's it. Come on, use your sword. Thank you. Ten percent, guys. Maybe eight or seven. The ricochets. Oh, that ricochet on this one. <laughs> well, we've whipped him down to about five percent now, guys. Oh. I've got you prepared for him to drop another smackaroonie on me. Oh, the smackaroonies. Dodge! Dodge! Come on! Don't start whipping it now! Like deliverance. That's not coming there. I'll use my wipes. I could be in big trouble. Deliverance. Okay. Use this. Try to get Dodge or two. Whoa! Three percent. Turn of darkness. Awesome. Diva. 
I shouldn't have used that. I shouldn't have used that. I'm going to be in trouble. That's a yummy scrummy. You use your sword on me. No. Oh, I'm in. I could be in trouble here. I almost just dove into that. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. credit scene? <laughs> I hope not. Oh, Bree has prepared me an egg, a succulent you egg. Have a, you have a hmm? oh, you oh, this looks like a good egg. Bree's taught me about the ways of over easy, which is you fold the egg in half in the pan. Oh, that looks pretty damn good. Mind if I just have a quick bite before we go into this cutscene, guys? Ask any questions, chat away, just, just just give me a little mukbang, a two minute mukbang. Woo! Hmm? I'm, I'm very hungry. That was a cool fight though. Should have gone from the top. Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh. That's a perfectly done egg. Mm. I'm not really good at it. <laughs> defeated. Ultima. You weren't that crazy? Oh no, how did you guys find Alma? How many wipes? Did you wipe on him? Mm -mm. No, I didn't I didn't wipe on him here. <laughs> I didn't wipe on the final bosses either. No wipes. Mmm. Mmm. Such a lovely egg. I'm going to take my mic off, guys, so you don't hear me chewing so much. Just a few bites. Ooh, that was fun stuff. So I won't consider this a spoiler, guys, but with the uh, with the MG Plus, um, they switch around a lot of like uh, the, the mobs and the bosses. Do they also switch up the significant story bosses? Or do you still fight those in NG Plus the same? I'm trying to remember when they showed us the wood and we had the big spinny boy show up. I feel like they said that that got switched out with the Chimera or maybe it was a, a, a more smaller boss. Josh! Super chat! Orange rain! As orange as the yolk of this magically done egg. Bro! Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Good job, Pez. Yoo! Thank you, man! This is so nice. Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna fuel up the story content. Two ton low heat healing NG plus. Akuma, hello mate. So I also won't consider this a spoiler, but it's just a very simple yes or no because you said Pez my favourite theorist. Um, just a simple yes or no. Don't talk too much about it. But is 16, even post-game, still ripe for theories and theory crafting? Yes. Blue says yes. Mm. Yes. That's cool. I like that. Mm. Oh. The section of this rice is so hard, I almost just broke my teeth. I know, right? Yeah. I, I, it was in the rice cooker for a while. Mm. Mm. I'm just sitting mm. there. One more bite, guys. Mm. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> mm. Well, that's exciting to me. <clears throat> mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Are we ready for story? Who is gathered? Who is here? Hit the like button. How many we got? How many likes we got, Bree Bree? 61, I like that. Can we, we get we can we get eight more? We have 121 people watching us. So. A challenge, guys. Eight of you. You have to telepathically communicate and coordinate eight more of you to get us to 69 and then no more, no less. We can't overshoot to 70. Can't overshoot to 72. We just got to get to 69 and it's got to hold for a whole minute. A whole minute. Can you do it? As soon as you see it hit, and then we want more. And then we want more. <laughs> but when it gets to sixty-nine, Bree, start a one-minute timer. Okay. Go on, guys. We can do it. Let's see if we have become a hive mind, a peasant hive mind. Yep. You can't Somebody coordinate. Who? Huh? Somebody already went over it. It's already gone over it. What did it go to? Ah, oh, damn it, guys. <laughs> we shot past. Keep going. Keep All going. right, let, let's try at the next checkpoint. 80. 80. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, Siri, bugger off. Okay, let's find out about God being a dick. <laughs> Siri says, bugger off. Okay, let's find out about God. <laughs> okay, what's this? The pull of darkness. Zidual Dark Ether that, having failed to dissipate on the battlefield, has instead manifested in solid form, not unlike the crystal, but with an elemental purity that renders it far more potent. Okay. Wow, dancing still. That's cool. How'd you like them eggs, Ultima? At last. For yeah, he's going to be happy about this. Have we he awaited this moment? Ah, oh, this was a test. <laughs> oh boy. Just, just crossed my mind though, very, very briefly. Now obviously he wants him as a vessel and they showed like the big cosmogony thing with like the multiple wings and I'm just like he's got a set of wings in that form. Was it not just a Clive Joshua merge? It was a Clive Joshua Ultima merge. The whole, the big, the big kahuna, the big final thing, maybe. 
because there were some wings in that artwork that we were like, that's kind of Garuda-ish, and so were those ones, but anyway. Onwards. Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Sin. Pox and sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Clive full of those sins, toxins, yeah. Oh shit, what's he doing now? Oh. Oh. Hello. Trippy brain space. Trippy, trippy brain. And Joshua's frozen. How is your own Oh. Mid and Sid. I love these kind of sequences, yo. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Sid wouldn't say that. Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These, these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring, all they will ever bring, is death? Good There's child, no theatrics atoning, all Clive. Love. No matter how hard you try. So why, why not, not leave, leave it all behind? behind? <laughs> so bizarre. All leave it all behind. Yeah, I... Go off to the new world, Clive. Clive! This, this was the sand break, Jason. Won't somebody save me? Oh. Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? Oh, damn. What if it could all just go away? Clouds tripping. Hard. Ultima. Mind game balls. Just. Go away. Clive. No. Surely you can see through this ruse, lad. Seen from the trailer was. <coughs> None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. Yo, Clive is looking dopey as fuck. What? <coughs> this is messing him up. Yay! Remember who you 
you are. Clive. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Damn, so Joshua just broke into Ultima's mind game. Look, mm. Ultima. Joshua pretty OP. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched. And the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible. Not possible unless... Unless he has been with Muthos all along. Been with? What does that mean? The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? <clears throat> Are there wills? Truly so potent. Right, so that, that ties with what Clive was just saying about them and Ultima not being that different. Uh, us being created by, or them being created by Ultima. So Clive in doing this is demonstrating the power of a god. That's more or less what Ultima is winking at. Are you still talking? Another fight, another boss fight. I'm up for it. We're going Phoenix and Ithaca. Oh no, we're going Phoenix if it merge. <laughs> Damn, clap, you cheesemonger. You're a big cheese here, laddie. Yeah! Damn that bitch! This is no mere evolution. It is deviation. And here from does Logos rise. Logos? That's cool. That's more or less like another word for Big Bang. The Logos. It's like a Big Bang, but actually with universal intelligence behind it. It's mechanical. Also another word for God. The Logos. I think the Hermetics came up with it. Ho, 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 ho. Clive went God mode. Damn it, Clive. Wake up. That. That. Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. So this that place. little bit about he's deviated, that means he's he's, he's broken the uh, the destiny fate spiral. How is Torgal? Well, look, what was someone where Torgal is in all of these moments? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. Mm -hmm. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? <clears throat> In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? The halls of origin. And there shall you be made complete. <coughs> Soon, Muthos. Soon you will discover how little you know 
of suffering. Oh, we don't know what to do. It's like a dog on fireworks night. It does like, ah, fuck, fuck. <laughs> um, I know the Hermetics did use Logos, but actually, 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 Logos is once again, like I was pointing out in most of my theories, you know, the start of the game, there's all this thing between like uh, Greek and Christianity merged, like what carried over from the Greeks into Christianity. And yeah, in Christianity, the Logos uh, is word, discord, or reason. Well, it means word, discord, or reason in Greek. There's also a name or title for Jesus Christ, seen as the pre existent second person of the Trinity. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Bree. <laughs> um, and yeah, just more or less the, uh, the first manifestation of creation in the universe. Oh. But it's been used in other cool places. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, where is it? Yeah, so the concept has also, and even the word has also been found in Indian, Egyptian, and Persian philosophical and theological systems. The idea of the Logos in Greek thought harked back to at least the 6th century philosopher Heraclitus who discerned in the cosmic uh, process a logos analogous to the reasoning power in humans. Later the Stoic philosophers who followed the teachings of the thinker Zeno of Citrium defined the logos as an active, rational and spiritual principle that permeates all reality. They called the logos providence, nat providence nature and God and the soul of the universe, which is composed of many seminal, logoi, logoi, <laughs> little logois that are contained in the universal logos. And the first century Jewish philosopher taught that the logos was the intermediary between God and the cosmos, being both the agent of creation and agent through which the human mind can apprehend and comprehend God. Oh. So, and the logos was both imminent in the world at the same time the transcendent divine mind. So Clive has bridged that gap. That big, potent, poignant, nutty word salad there, that's what Clive has just done. <laughs> Clive's gone big leagues. Woo! <laughs> All right. Are we going back to stone here? Oh, like we're going to the Holy Empire. And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Oh, what's he gonna do to some place? It's chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back the hell are you doing, dude? To their back to origin. Oh, he's wiping slate. He's control deleting. Oh, what was this spy? Oh, were those like the big spires in the painting that we saw? Sam Breck, is it the original worm thing? Because they were like the ones who mostly worshipped. Whoa. The whole thing. The whole freaking thing. Everyone that sees is just. Egg. Crystal egg. What the? Yeah. I mean, Sam Breck always seems significant. Obviously, that's where Ultima did his like, big weaseling. You know, with the kid, Olivier. Everything with like all the Grigor stuff, and the dragon stuff. So, picking that. It was also the most, uh, I think they said it was the most ether abundant nation. That's why Sam Breck 
kind of rose to such high power because it was uh, no, is that oh that's crystalline dominion? No wait, it said holy empire. Oh yeah, the holy empire has now become uh, under sandbreak. So that was crystalline dominion. Did medicine girl get out of there? Yeah, I mean, where Dion sent uh, Terence to medicine girl. I mean, she still could have been yeeted, as well as Terence. Oh, man, I don't know. They better not kill Terence. So was, that was definitely Crystalline Dominion. Did I not read that right? Okay. Yeah, they moved its crap capital. The bloody crystal's cracked. So where the hell are they? Damn. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Can always trust Gav to drop a heavy fuck me. <laughs> Is that ether? So all that ether that's been getting like semi siphoned off by the crystals. What in good Grieger's name is going on? Old moves collecting. This is wrong. We're back. Going back. Clive, Joshua. Jill. <laughs> Everyone, all right. We're fine. Go on, go. Get in there. Too much to explain here. Mate, we're leaving. Full now. steam ahead. Everyone, fall back to the ship. I will be with you and none. What? Was... Thank you. There's nothing to stay here for, bro. Dion, don't do anything rash. Who gives a fuck about a bunch of acacific noobs? Get on the ship, fly, or go behind them and fly away. God, I want a Dion DLC. <laughs> Such a springy boy. <laughs> He's like you, Pez, he wants a challenge. <laughs> oh, ooh, the map. Whoa. <laughs> We work on it. Yo, that's nuts. Whole crystalline dominion spots just <laughs> yeeted. Oh, what is? Are we going in there? So I'm gonna sprout out of that. The first, first worm. Wow. What a chonker of an episode. Is that a leave-off point? Or is it not a leave-off point yet? We go back to base first. I could go back to base. Oh, so there's a lot to break down there. Um, all right, we'll pop to the hideaway first. Time for like 20 side quests. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna be cocooning for a while, right? Back to the origin. Uh, the, the main I need thing. to tell everyone what happened at Drake's spine, and I'm going to need Otto's help. <laughs> Otto, <laughs> first guy. Wait, Dion, it's so good to see you. I have wronged oh, so many, ruined thousands of lives. I did not deserve to be saved, but save me, you and your brother did. Your uncle too forgave me. There's my a sins. lot happening. Offered me a chance at redemption. Yours is a fine family, Ifrit. Cherish it. Mark. 
Uh, Bill's lost every, every, well, he's, he's got his Terrence. But I swear God gave me, take his Terrence from him. I'm a Bill Rhodes. Square Enix is very strongly worded now. Shit, yeah, let, let's chat to all the crew. What do you mean oh, I can't have another loaf? Oh, you've had nine already. <laughs> They're so jarring after everything we've just been through. <laughs> Is this the yeah. last of the mother crystals, do you think? Or could there be so, others buried out there? So what does... Because uh, we didn't really see... Did I just miss something? So Stone here's crystal just got destroyed. Was was everything in that, that metaphysical space, was that inside the Stone here's crystal? That floaty... So I thought we just went to an ultimate dimension. But the crystal just got... Did they show that? Did that happen within the stone here crystal, the last one? Maybe. So that when that came crumbling down and Joshua and Clive had to TP out. Check the Lopez. Yeah? How, how do you actually... How do you actually check... How does one check Act of Time Law from... From any old spot? Um, my, my brain's... Being a noob, everyone. How do I check eight of time law? Yeah, check. I mean, you got to be in a scene or something, or? There's now like a fuck off crystal hanging over the horizon to sour your eel. Maybe we popped our Hippocrates. Okay, so Final Fantasy following is old classic. It seems like Ultimate is the god. So what, what, I mean, maybe you guys know answer to this, so these are just hypotheticals to me. My, my mind immediately goes to, so what was Grigor? What was Grigor? Grigor was just, just a fantasy. It was just a, a bunch of nonsense. Because, I mean, Ultima did point out that thing of like, well, like feeding Clive, like a mother would feed a child and stuff. And I guess they kind of set that system up. Like, we'll do the crystals, we'll create humans. We'll fuck off to sleep, and sort of the whole mother crystal thing has just been like a fantasy, really. Just yeah, I mean, humans do do that. They make up their own crystals. Yeah, great Gregor is that in? Maybe I don't know. It could, it could, could be, could be. <laughs> All right, here's the most exciting moment. Are you ready for it? Pepper yourself. A lot has happened. Still pepper yourself. No. <laughs> Here we go. Enthroned in sable sky, chaos in oh, give this guy his own playlist. From diverse hands a dawn is spun in crimson cinnamon furs. Oh! So goddamn spoony! So spoony. That was beautiful. I love this guy. Bard is absolutely MVP. Our Apocrys is up here, right? So yeah, don't, God's a dick. He made us. Went to sleep. He has other plans. He's an ass. Our Final Fantasy protagonist is now basically squaring up becoming almost godly himself so Joshua should not have been able to be in that space and that's what made Ulma like damn you got the powers of creation son like your will is way more than what we thought wills could be you've deviated from completely and entirely our plan so when it comes to, because obviously this ties with how I always wondered about like robed hooded guy and whatnot, and whether the like, 
So Joshua legitimately got saved by the um, as a kid. Is this is this how we're to understand Joshua's thing? That fa Yote's faction, they went in and they found what young Joshua's like body, and and they saved him at the site. So it was just sort of, it was a regular saving. Curious, curious, curious. Yeah, yeah, he's the phoenix, or yeah, his powers. So, and then they literally raised Joshua, and yeah, nothing peculiar actually happened in that regards, other than obviously him surviving. There wasn't, wasn't any tiny weird stuff, because yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't robed hooded guy. Really, was he? The robe, the robed hood thing, therefore, is such a like a fat misdirect. Oh, yeah. That's all robed hood. Because I was like, is this a, is this an e guy like created from Clive? Is somehow he like the powers of creation thing? I'm doing fate. No, it was just a fat misdirect. <laughs> God damn you, Square! You're in your cloaks of misdirection. And the fact the robes are actually red. Red, red herrings, red herring robes. <laughs> Tambourine! I always found the ultimate revelation to be a direct comparison to Annabella and her obsession with wanting to keep their bloodline alive. I suppose that's why Altman manipulates her so easily. Yeah, I suppose, um, I suppose there are kind of a lot of contrasts there. Especially because that did clock in my mind when Ultimate made the analogy of basically feeding Clive like a mother, but then just having like nothing but motivation, willing to cast it off the second it suits them. And that's exactly what Annabella did. Just fucking cast her, well, she was always gonna cast Clive off, but even casting Joshua off, yeah. Which is one of the big theories I had with, uh, that's why I had that Dark Mother theory. I was like, there's going to be some like macro themes in the game, and they're going to present them in, in micro elements. It's, it's what you're picking up on there, Tambourine, for sure. Thank you for the schmeckles, man. Thank you so much. Grigor is a funny name to me. It's a male name in Croatia. Yeah, I mean, what was it again? I forgot. It was similar to Gregorius, wasn't it? Gregorius, the Greek Greek word Gregorius. Now, anyway, before I dive into that, let's, let's chat with Papa Chris. Good morrow to you, my friend. <clears throat> the dying said they saved Joshua from rubble. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll call that. And um, it, it just means, <laughs> yeah, the rope was. I have compiled there to some new entries. Out. If you would like to see them. Of course I'd like to see them. There's been a lot of sauciness happening. Living Library, Recorder of the Realm. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. So they didn't really add anything for Barnabas' mother. Oh. <gasps> oh, they've added stuff. One of the few surviving descendants of the children of Zemeckis, who fled from Valestia and took refuge in the outer continent, only returning generations later. Children of Zemeckis, so... Was the founder, what did the founder of Rosaria, was he also one of these children of Zemeckis? Who fled from Valesia and took refuge in the outer continent. Only returning generations later, she and her clan were devout believers in the circle of Malleus, whose teachings she instilled in her son. Whoa! So, so these children of Zemeckis, I guess they have uh, elongated lifespans? Yeah, returning generation. Well, did she return generations later or did she stay over there? Because oh, obviously Barnabas is like 40... He's been running the kingdom for 40 years. He doesn't age normally. Children of Zemeckis, is there actually a piece on these, pe on these people? 
uh, Circle of Malice is still doing some teachings and memories that he treasures to this day. Alas, her beliefs were also to prove her downfall. Uh, she was killed in a raid by the followers of a rival religion. Is that rival religion? Greek or religions? Go somewhere as to why he raised an empire and waged it against some brick so heavily? Uh, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well done, Hippocrates. You actually gave me some something juicy. What was this? A place beyond space and time turned both the rift between worlds and our darkness by its creator, Ultima. Clive and Joshua were forcibly summoned there by the mad deity when they ventured too close to the heart of Drake's spine. Upon fighting their way free, the pair emerged to find that the victory of Ultima had resulted in the shattering of the Mother Crystal Seer. That's how that went down. Convolution of shards, when a heart shatters, so too does the man around it. Yeah, we've read that. <laughs> there is more on them. Here we go, it's a mech here. A mother crystal that is believed to have stood in an area in the northeastern part of Dalmechia. Legends tell that it was destroyed in a battle between men and the gods. Oh, that, that big waterfall area. That big, big waterfall area spoke about a battle so ferocious that it left behind the great crater that can be seen today. So are the children of Zemeckis just basically what the fallen are? They're the same things. They're the ones who created the apodic trees, um, had the uh, artwork of the Phoenix if it merge, worshippers of Malia, Ultima's boys. That's what the children of Zemeckis are. So they're the ones after Ulma went to sleep. They got uber powerful, full god. <clears throat> See, but but how? So was that was that a misdirect in the story? You know, when they said that man fought god, and then the mother crystals were put on the planet, which was the uh, the punishment. But that doesn't make it sound that way. So that must have been bullshit. That must have been bullshit because this fight happened and the Mother Crystal was there. So when man rebelled against the gods... And when they say the fight happened between men and God... Are they talking about separate gods to Ultima? Or are they talking about Ultima because he's been asleep? Or did Ultima... Did they go and fight Ultima? Because, I mean, these, these Zemeckis lot... Why would they have fought Malice if they were worshipping him? Honest, so there I must thought, be external gods, right? I thought, I thought it meant that they did talk certain things to the gods that weren't actually gods. Like, like they were talking about the uh, like the monsters that you find inside of the crystal. Yeah. So the fighting of gods, well, they weren't actually a fight of gods. It's just while they were asleep, man started developing his own will. Yeah his own sense of self, and then his own motivations. And that was just seen as a rebellion against God. And then, and then what? That, that they woke up, saw that humans were in this state, and then looked to kneecap them back into medieval, bukak and back into medieval days. Misleading information, it's, tales that have been sort of twisted over well, yeah, it's centuries, like kind of decades. When enough time passes, like yeah. people kind of make up different areas, come up with different stories for what happened, how things got, yeah. to, how they got. So, gods usually don't lie in FF. Uh, that, that's kind of true. It's kind of true. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. It's folklore, so maybe history has changed. Yeah, I, I'll have to take some time with it to sift out what uh, have been the, uh, you know, the incorrect half truths of this cosmogony story to get like a very clear, direct when things happened. Um, so we're to assume that Ultima was the one who took down the children of Zemeckis when they were advanced. Why did he? Why did Ultima want to do that? Because obviously he created humans 
so that they would eventually evolve and that from that mythos would emerge within humanity was it was it the suffering element because of, of course Altma has tethered the suffering part the to it of, of the magics, they, they were they were the they were What's that? The yeah, let's, let's look through the more galore. This might give us some more. Look at the lore of his of Armas' mom. Yeah, I've, I've read it on her. Yeah. And how, how she died? Does that matter? Yeah, rival religion. Yeah, I think that's how they all end up getting killed. Yeah. One of the great many conflicts waged at the end of the fall at the end of the age of the fallen. Good old war of Magi. Some good old FF6 bizzle. Uh, in which mankind, fielding fantastical clockwork armies fueled by powerful magics, fought for control over the mother crystals. This, however, worked to hasten the drain of the ether from the land and thereby the rise of the blight. By the time the fighting had ceased and peace was restored, the wounds suffered by both humanity and the land had grown too deep to heal. The civilization began its slow yet inevitable march into darkness. It was only a matter of winters before thousands of years of knowledge used to build the great magitech faded was eventually lost to history. So so they more or less, this war of the Magi was between one another. And then they basically just wrecked themselves. So Ultima, it wasn't like God came in and medieval their asses. They medieval themselves. Yeah, that's part of the reason why Ultima is saying that they have so much sin is here. It's the that sin aspect. They kind of like... Yeah them having will, free will, instead of doing what was meant for them to do, mm -hmm. they just kind of like woke up for saying, sure, you and whatever the fuck they felt like doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it. Bedrin. Ulmer did not give them free will. Yeah. That's what that's what he's calling a sin. I mean, he, I having the, the free reason will. why he said that is because all the bad things that came from it, the way that they yeah. started using magic. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Magitech. Airship is the best known example. They have produced weapons, all but indistinguishable from living beings. All but indistinguishable from living beings, interesting. Whose destructive power rivaled that of the gods of legend. And I keep saying gods. Because, <laughs> cause I mean, Ultima still says we and whatnot. He seems very on his own, on his Todd. Yeah. But he does also describe a we. You think Ulmer's operating on his own? Yeah, because he's mm. speaking in a sense of like, oh, as he is like everything. So, okay. so I obviously we that we perceive Ulmer as godlike, but I guess he was just part of a race before even children of Semechus, way way back. Because he said, well, the way he described it is, we built stuff up, we learned magics, which brought life to things, but then they started suffering their own blight, and that's why Clive was like, you've done exactly what the fuck we've done, yeah, I think you asshole. When, when he says we, he means like his, that's what can be confusing about his... Yeah, maybe me now, but surely he says we because he's still, uh, I don't want to say anything 14, but he's kind of, uh, he's like one of the 14 villains, kind of operating by himself now, but he was once part of a collective. Maybe there were other gods at one point. Yeah. I think that... So are we to assume that all of Ullman's people are gone? Or, he has a people. or is He's that... God. Yeah, but it, when he's saying about salvation, because he said we needed salvation, and to get salvation we needed two things. Yeah, is he trying to bring back... Is it just for himself, or is he also trying to bring salvation for this collective he speaks about? You know why I think so? Because he can't be purely soloing, because why would his wording still be we, us? He even said um, at one point, oh, uh, when they were fun about like Clive and his consciousness threads, we're going to go away and convene. 
We're going to go away and have a chat. We're going to have a cup of tea and a couple of scones, a little baked potato, and figure this shit out. I think you've got to beat the game for me to be able to fully have this conversation. I have to finish it, yeah, yeah. But, I might be asking too much. Yeah, but I feel like once you do, a lot of why I say what I'm saying will make sense. I like, I like that, Jay, Mom. That, that's a pretty good analogy. Ulmer considered himself gardener and humanity f- a humanity's free will, a weed that needs to get pulled before it ruins the harvest. Mm. Yeah, but even but even within the harvest, it, it's like you, you, you're trying to harvest a whole range, but you're only interested in one piece of the crop, one oh. one flower. If it's like resilient enough, the rest of the crop can go fuck itself. See, we'll we'll burn that afterwards. Because he has no actual bigger use for the rest of humanity. He's very much against connections, yeah. So just keep that in mind. Mm. Of like, why would he be so against their connections if he had some? If he had his own. He I see that. He speaks in the third person, which is why it can be kind of confusing because sometimes it's like, oh, that would make sense that he's talking about his people. Maybe, yeah, maybe, so, so maybe the we is that because he doesn't consider individuality, free will, sense of self a thing he doesn't term himself in individualizing terms he sees himself as like a we as he's like a concept he's like something he's something grandiose okay yeah okay oh what a but juicy law to digest on and it is it's juicy but i will also agree it is like it is basic rails of like final fantasy kind of plot like god Lufan- it is very lufanian-esque stuff like stuff we had back in ff1 they were like you know, your master race made human you know. it's very much um even type zero-esque you know all of those spirals, all of those cycles were happening just to find a Gito, one person within this big old thing, you know, people wrecking each other, murdering each other. We only need one. So it's it's very classic um, and simplistic in that sense. Yeah. If it's the definition of God, it's immortal in its spirit form, it's part of the natural world and can create life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> But it's, it's, it's also interesting that he would then use the term like Logos because Logos is obviously the, with the word that is described in Christianity and Hermeticism and Stoicism and various things. It's the all pervading universal intelligence. And he describes Logos. Does he consider himself Logos or is he, is he like a sub Logos? Does he like see himself as all god or sub god? Probably sub god, right? Ultima definitely views himself from the way that he talks and just like like that whole scene there where he was saying like why would he sit here and deal with you? You caused us so much vexation. Why would you do that? Yeah. You know. Yemens, you're a bloody headache. He views himself as like very much above everything else, including Clyde. Yeah. He just uses he just views him as like a mock, really. Yeah. That's the hypocrisy that Clyde's pointing out in, in Alma. The term, uh, yeah, we read the Meditech one. Ooh. <clears throat> I mean, regardless of all the gods that we fought in uh, the Final Fantasy series, Alma is definitely the most horrifying god. <laughs> Uh, echoes, what are these? Strange clockwork, okay. Uh, the ones only ever found protecting such structures, but in the aftermath of primogenesis, beneath the blackened skies that followed their merge from the ruins at last, and can now be seen all over Valacia. So when we talk about primogenesis, aftermath of primogenesis. So primogenesis, what exactly is that? Is it like the Prometheus? So it's not the Prometheus-like event, 
of when Ultima first made humans, first yeah. put the seeds of humanity in the world. Primogenesis is something that the children of Zemeckis were trying to do. Ultimately, they were also trying to more or less gain the powers of creation. Primogenesis was... Because well, it says that like these Magitek, they were more or less indistinguishable from other living beings. Just clockwork, so... There's a law entry about primogenesis. Oh. Yeah, if you look at oh, okay. it, that's, what, that's the spell the ultimate cast. Oh, the spell. Turning everybody into a cat ship. That was the spell. So that's that, what made the spell. So that's the spell that Joshua was talking about when he was like, he's looking to cast a spell, or spell yeah. of all spells. See, that is different, yeah, because that happened afterwards, isn't it? Yeah, so the spell of all spells ain't the primogenesis spell. But the primogenesis spell... Is the Akashic kind yeah, of that's okay? Style right. into okay, okay. The, the puzzle pieces are piecing together. Wait, you said there's an entry on primogenesis here. <laughs> Wait, what's this? The Bank of Gilbard, the Great Lender. I literally made a joke about this being. I, I, I've got to say, <laughs> while I didn't want the Game of Thrones references to like. Exist and there are some people like they've just ripped off Game of Thrones. It's not a rip off, but they are using it way more, way way more. In, 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 you've got the uh, Iron Bank, which was very similar to Canva, kind of like separate from all the wars, sort of positioned away from everything. And now they've gone and like <laughs> literally made the connect. A folks' religion popular in the free cities Canva. Gilbert the Golden was a legendary trader who not only introduced the concept of a fiat currency to Batasia, but he made Gil, uh, but founded Canva's very first merchant's guild. When that same guild was later entrusted with administering Valestia's common currency, they chose the name Gil in honor of the revered by Gilbert. Oh my god, we've just had law given on Gil. The origins of Gilbury. Gilbert. Gilbard. <laughs> <laughs> The faith is organized largely along the lines of a commercial organization and prayers tend to be aimed at bringing prosperity and success in business. Okay. Oh, what is this? The Triunity of 859, a tripartite alliance uh, between the Zero and Dominic and Tabrek. Its purpose was to oppose the independence of the three cities of Canva due to fears that this might inspire similar independent movements elsewhere in the realms. The alliance was disbanded in 860. Wait. Shit, so that, that was only around for a year? And dispute over Zambroquois' Zambru culpability in the affair. Yo. So all of these three nations signed up to basically wear on Canva because they were allowing independence in their realms. That kind of is a bit shitey on Elwyn and Rosaria. So I thought they were supposed to be good boys. Wait, what? This says that Rosaria, Dalmechia and Sambrek all teamed up in a pact against Canva to oppose that Canva was basically... When? 859, which is a year before the attack on Phoenix Gate. Is this yeah! So Elwyn signed in on that thing. Which, I mean, I, I guess the, the best thing you could say for that is without a unified nation, they were already running a risk of being blighted because they didn't have the Iron Kingdom crystal. So if you had the nation starting to faction off, that could quite literally threaten the survival of the nation as a whole. But I don't know. Basically, Canva seems like they were going for a more democratically slanted position and Elwyn opposed it. Geopolitics. You know what I need you to do? What do you need me to do? Eat this no. egg? Finish your egg. No, not yet. I think you need to apologize to Hippocrates. Why? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, Hippocrates. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. Fuck you, Hippocrates. No, You're maybe. Him more now. Yeah, okay, Hippocrates, he delivers me. I think you just weren't looking at it very much before. I, I wasn't, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Free Cities bid for independence when several prominent Canvarian jewel masters announced their desire to succeed from the Republic of Dalmechia. 
After a bit of struggle, lasting eight long years, his independence was finally achieved. Oh. Okay, light of flames. Anything else in here? So the continent, have they added anything here? Storm, the Fallen, yeah, there was some of that. Drake's Horn. Uh, stood in ash, blight, the fall of Drake's horn, left Drake's spine. Ooh, wait. There was another, another crystal? Yeah. So, missing crystals. We had the Northern Territories one missing. There was whatever one destroyed. destroyed. Which you can read more about that. Yeah, but they're saying that Rosari did that? Was that the gig? Or it just fell because of the blight or something, just pooped out, putted out. But that was Drake's eye. Then we found out that there was a crystal at the waterfall point in Dalmec where God fought man. And now there's also been Drake's horn. Oh. There was a there was a second uh, Willowed one as well. Spicy. Did it say the location of it? Uh, on the continent, decades of the conflict for control in its. Right. On the continent, and sparked a decades long conflict for its ethereal bounty. After much bloodshed, it was the erstwhile nation of Veldemark which finally subjugating the warring tribes of Ash and established a kingdom around what is now Stone here. The nation of Veldemark. Let's go. Formerly the most powerful kingdom in Ash until Barnabas led his army in rebellion against its rule and established his own kingdom in Warload upon its still smoking ruins. Wait. Ooh. Oh my. I need to give Vivian's awesome map some love. Okay, I'll have to go uh, spend some time there. Um, Circle of Malleus, is anything on here? Uh, which more recent savior cults grew it's beliefs were lose during dawn from was left behind by the people who lived near the mother crystal of Zemeckis. But while at one point it was a faith followed throughout Ballastia time, the faded memory of the ancient culture that spawned it saw it gradually fall from over. You wish to study well, the tones? I like to study the tones. New World. The paradise Ultima seeks to summon into creation one free from blight that almost ended his race. His race! So yeah, he's a, he's a was once part of a, a race. Wait, see, what, what, what was that? See, Bree, you're locked into this thing that there's only Ulm and no one else in the whole universe. Yeah. And yeah. just because I read that law, you pulled a stank face. You pulled a stank face. He's part of a, he's part of a race. It's some, I don't want to say it. I'll whisper it, because Bree's going to have to play for me something. Like this is some, Emmett Selk shit. You feel me? Some Emmett Selk. For sure. Where did you say race? That almost ended his race. Ultima is, is part of a race. And his uh, though Barnabas believed that he and his fellow faithful would be allowed to join his deity there, he was mistaken. Only Ultimate and his kin, his kin, shall have a place in his new paradise. You know how I paradise that? freed not only from blight, but from humanity. I took that as his kin and his race. I took that as like what he created. Not that he's a part of a bunch of stuff. Nah, he's definitely a part of a bunch of stuff. Because it's not his, his, his race, not humans. No, that makes sense. They almost ended his race. Ultimate gave us the backstory. He was once, uh, they got uh, blighted. They got blighted. Bree, <laughs> Bree, you gotta let it go. Not, it's not about yeah. you gotta let it go. It's just this. <laughs> All right, I'll keep playing, I'll keep playing. We won't go to, <laughs> I can't say much. Uh, where Ultima uses mythos to describe the vessel is long awaited. One in which he can pour his soul and cast his supreme spell. So yeah, because, you, well, no, it, it's, it's definite because 
Ultimate also revealed to us that he once had a form and he had to cast it off. So he once had a physical form. We had to cast off our forms to become a spirit so that they could endure. Now he's trying to get a form back, right? But Logos indicates it's blasphemed form. A vessel over which the will of another has complete claim, making of itself a false god. Interesting how that parallels with everything we've seen with you know, the dominance and you know, the icon having will, not having a will, and you know, all of them went like orange eyes at the end and shit, blue eyes. So essentially it's like Mythos would be orange eyes ultimate vessel, but Logos would be blue eyes ultimate vessel. And you don't want that shit. You don't want that shit. He wants Mythos, not Logos. Orange, not blue. That's cool, that's very cool. <laughs> Will, ah, here we go. That which separates humans from animals and is given shape by consciousness. Hey, my dogs have a bloody will, how dare you? <laughs> and a freedom of thought, even when one is deprived of other freedoms, it is one's will that drives the pursuit of true liberty. To how ultimate, however, human will is a sickness, prevents them from taking their proper divine form that of the Akashic could only serve his purpose. To this end, he casts primogenesis, transforming much of humanity into his soulless servants. Shit. Ah, here we go. Spell card. Wait, so when, when did that scene happen that's being shown on primogenesis? What point did that happen in the game? That happened right after the Bahamut fight. After the Bahamut fight. The flower thing, the flower thing, and then he he plonked up to that. So that tower, yeah, that's the, that's still the same tower in Crystalline Dominion. Hmm. What does that tower kind of mean? Because because I, I I kind of thought you know when he showed the uh, the picture of the towery structures, I thought it was like the apodotries. but those apodotries, I guess. Children of Zemeckis made, and they were just similar to these towers. The, the, this tower and what Ultima must have made back in wherever the fuck his other world was, or continent, was these same kind of big spirey things. And this is his main one that he operates from. This is his base of operations. The article was toggle discrimination. Right? You're telling me Toggle Boy don't have a will? That's the most willy dog I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, magic in those lands that remained livable. Unless there's a human living in Toggle, and at the end when Toggle's dying in Clive's arm, he's going to say, Hello. I've been trapped in this dog for centuries. Thank you. Thank you for being so kind to me. <gasps> That happens. Oh, I'll bring your face is such a spoiler. That actually happens. Fuck. Toggle's going to transform into a human ninja. <laughs> right, I'm bugging. That was 15's plot, man. Umbra and Prino are going to be human ninjas. But filled the rest with floods, turning many beasts into mindless. Yep. <laughs> right, I think that's. That puts it all into shape. I found this scene, this little mind bug scene. It was, <laughs> it was somewhat jarring. It was cool, but it was also somewhat jarring. When they all started like saying the same thing at the same time, for a minute there, I really thought we was gonna like bust into a little musical. Uh, it felt very bugging, which I get. Ultima, you know, creating that space. I guess he's not that good. Uh, it just seemed like very fake and very automated and weird. Which I guess that hey, having that feeling is natural, considering Altma is probably not the best at replicating human emotion. Um, anything else in there? We got the riff. If it risen. Yeah, how are we to how are we to understand that the uh, the husk, the burnt crispy husk of Ifrit? Can't say too much. 
okay, well, we'll leave that. Probably something to do with the Vaseline and stuff. Again, I have some theories on that, but we won't talk too much about that. Two icons of fire unite as one. Uh, with the might of the fire exceeds either icon alone, with the body of Ifrit and the wings of Phoenix, appearance closely remembers that of Ultima, as depicted in the ancient murals of the circle Malleus. Could this be the final true form of the vessel that Ultima requires to remake the world? Sure seems that way, laddie. Or what's this? A religious image of the Circle of Malice, an ancient faith that worshipped both the Mother Crystals and Ultima. It depicts the icons arranged in adoration of a central figure. So it was never them fighting, it was. It was. Oh, oh. The God that rules above them all. Joshua discovers an unblemished version of the depth, in the depths of the Lotus Stronghold of Galahorn. Learns that the figure thought to be Ultima is in fact the Ifrit Rism. All right, that's enough lore for me to uh, go and chew on for one day, guys. Um, cool sequence. Very cinematically. Mwah. Anything before I bounce out? Anything that in the comments I'm not be missing? Obviously, no spoilies. But if you're when you got to this section. Any understandings or point outs that you've had for just this section or when you were at this point. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Tambourine. Mr. Tambourine. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Mike, uh, for the Schmeckies. Square Enix for giving me a follow. I'm going to go and check on Twitch if that's like actually Square Enix, not fake Square Enix. <laughs> Pets just have the IQ of toddlers. Well, I think I think they said that pigs have basically emotional intelligence of a four or five year old, which seems crazy. <laughs> so I don't know where dogs would be. Are right, you going to stream tomorrow? Am I going to stream tomorrow, Bree? Yeah. 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 Around about the same time, we'll be back. Because, I, yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to be, ooh, sent down a whole rabbit hole of things. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Let's see if anything's popped up on there. I want to see how many S classes might be there. Only thing I don't understand is how Wade survived being turned to a crisp. Yeah, I mean, that and. Wait, is that Uncle Byron? Is that Uncle Byron? Origin, That's he called it. The origin of what? Origin of what? Did you know that it was I who convinced His Imperial Highness to join you in Stone Hill? <laughs> Come on. Right. It may be that he was of a mind to do so already, but it was I who told him where you'd be. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you get credit, Byron. You get credit. There's oh, something right. about him. good. Pigs are smarter than dogs. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> really like whenever you said tambourine. Go on. Number of times you say tambourine. You type it. <laughs> Louder! Tambourine! <laughs> this is like how you type it the same way you say it. Why the fuck did you lie to me, Bree? Yeah? Why'd you bloody lie to me? About bloody hunts. No bloody hunts on the bloody balls. Why are you tell me fibs? There's no. Oh, oh, because you've got to kind of do a little bit of story. Have I got to do a little bit extra story? Little then I'll, I'll unlock them. A little bit, a little bit. So, because I've only got one, one quest on, on there. Wow. Only one. I've done good. Pez fears the man in black. Uh, it's Sephiroth. I ain't messing with Sephiroth. After what he did to me in Cage 2, I ain't, I ain't going near him. And what he did to me in 7 Remake Half Mode. <laughs> he slapped me around. Ooh. Wait. Is that how crazy and deranged my hair has been this whole time? Not the whole time. Law! Crazy law! <laughs> Story time with Ultima. Bedtime Tales. Let you by Ultima. Ah! Ultima. 
a calm. A story sponsored by Carl. Go to it right now. Thank you so much, guys. We'll leave it there. Yeah, we're at the five hour, 16 minute. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Everyone who uh, dropped a like, a uh, sat through. Not too many wipes. I mean, considering how bad I was doing yesterday. Yesterday. To take the, be uh, the behemoth and the ulma in fairly all right stride. Again, I, I I feel like maybe I should have taken Ulma without any boss checkpoints, but we just take the win. Just take the win. Have a good rest of your day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for whatever is in store. Peace out. Toodaloo. Get ready for some great stuff. Nice. I'm ready. I'm waiting. <laughs> All right, Squall. See you, mate. Henry, Gamedio, Jose Rodriguez. And how do you say it? I just say game dial. Game dial. Oh, game dial. Yes, that makes more sense. I don't, are you game dial or game gamedial? What is it? What is it? If it's game dial, there'd be a space. Well, maybe they don't want a space. It's gamedial. <laughs> see you later, Andy. Cami Zans, how shall be? Until the looks like shrimp. Eggs. Okay. <laughs> oh, I've got no egg. I'm correct. I've got no egg for my wife. What? I'm right. One more. Game dial. Oh. Three is correct. Ha 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 